All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Killing Everything in Breath of the Wild, where we're finally halfway done with the whole, uh, we'll just run. With the count in the top right, it's at 2527 out of 4928, which is more than half, because we hit that nearing the end of last stream. But basically now, the whole thing is just to, uh, we'll kind of take this chunk by chunk. We did the Great Plateau stuff uh, just quite a while ago with the base plateau and the one-hit obliterator stuff. And then last stream, we cleared a Kala, so... Basically, I think we're going to do um, the next region, probably Lanero today, and just kind of beyond that, since we already did most of Lanero. Um, just on the map itself, we have, well, quite a lot. So, <laughs> it's all done. Akala's done. Plateau. So, yeah. We'll just see what this brings us. Let's start here, and uh, just keep going with that. I think it'll be awesome. So, welcome, everyone. Nice to see you, and uh, hope you're having a good Wednesday. I'm going to start this off by just uh, checking out where we need to go, which is... Yeah, a bunch of lizzles and stuff over there. Which we can do that. Um, oh. <laughs> Why is there a deposit, like... <laughs> Usually it's, like, kind of in reach. That's the opposite. Well, now I want it because I pointed it out. So, I'm not stopping myself. There we go. And how do we do this? Just like that. <gasps> Banana gem! Yes! <laughs> Alright. Good start. <laughs> I did not know that was there. You missed Akala is when you're, it's, it's your favorite area? Aw. Yeah, I like Akala a lot too. But I feel like whenever I play this game, I always do Akala stuff first. Like, if there's any sort of like challenge run thing based, because it's just like, I like going there. So I totally like, just get that too. Okay. Well, there's the cast quest. Um, okay, I know there's like a Hinox over there and some stuff. I'm going to check the map again because... Ah, I see. Hinox, bunch of Lizzles. I can do that. And luckily, we have the Master Cycle, too. So it just makes all travel pretty convenient. Started watching my videos, amazing content. Um, Breath of the Wild, thank you. Much appreciated. Just with, uh, yeah, especially everything lately. I I wouldn't do a lot with this game before the sequel comes out because it's well, really won't be the main focus anymore. So it's kind of like just that end of an era sort of thing. Like really having fun with this game until, uh, you know, a whole new adventure awaits. Which is exciting, but also kind of like, you know, sad. It's the end of the Breath of the Wild era, pretty much. Doesn't mean it's going anywhere, because, <laughs> ow. <gasps> Guess I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Didn't expect to be kicked like that. Talk about a rude awakening. And for him, too. <laughs> Just woke up and was ready to stab him in the eye. Okay. Give him some, some chucks. <laughs> Maybe in the eye, too. Yeah, that works. <laughs> a little bonus damage. I just love to bounce off with this. Yes. I love how I can hit the eye. Lots of meats, lots of parts. Very neat. Mm. Already better, because not damaged. And I honestly don't need a Thunder Spear. Oh, wait. Long throw, yeah. I need that more than a long throw. Thank you. Okay, first one done. I know there's a bunch of Lizzles around here. Some loose camps. There's a Lionel, too. Which, yeah, we've been really powering up, especially with weapons. Just, uh... <laughs> Yeah, the 96 Savage Lionel Sword was a nice surprise. Whoa. Okay. No chat on screen, mainly because of the spoiler thing. So I saw that as a pinned comment, but uh, because of the spoiler leaks, four tiers of the kingdom, trying to be more preventative, and plus the on screen chat isn't even working right now. Like, we've had that issue for so many streams now, and Streamlabs does not have a fix for it, so. It's a very buggy chat box if we do have it on. Which is what we're trying to avoid. Also, let me update that count. Because 25, 28. First kill, yeah. <laughs> Am I going to use IST to get stronger weapons? I don't plan on that. Uh, typically, I don't like using like huge glitches in games. Nor have I ever did IST before. But I've seen some stuff and it does get crazy. <laughs> also, I... 
I don't know how that happened. <laughs> it's almost vertical. Um, yeah. I'll say let's not. <laughs> it's a little too vertical. Okay. Oh, guess I'll have heavy enough. Put it in the back. That's good. I just wanted to fill up a little bit. If you don't know about the spoiler leak, then good. Uh, but yeah. There was a lot for Tears of the Kingdom, which kind of sucks for the community, but uh, yeah, just trying to prevent that so everyone's first experiences whole. Oh, moving fast with the Sheikah weapon. Okay, actually, I sure I could use that. Um, I don't want to really drop it for much because I'll use that on you. You take that. Uh oh, okay, run up again. Oh, nope, don't keep taking. I'm trying to take my weapon first. I'm gonna repeat the same mistake. Okay, good. Almost lost it like multiple times. And I'm glad he didn't catch my boomerang. Okay. Oh, God, that time. Nice. What well, is a cool Sheikah weapon, but not very powerful for us. All right, back to Zappy. Love the streams, thank you. I yeah, hope you guys are all doing well. Um, we'll see how far we get today. Definitely clearing out Lanero and uh, and beyond. Yeah, these orbs do too much damage. It's only a 22 damage spear, but 40 damage orbs and the initial shock damage is 20 on top of that. So it is a great rain weapon. Stealth, what for? Oh, <laughs> yeah, maybe that could have been good. I love how it chains out that too. It's only like half metal. It's funny because like there's some weapons in the game that are like half made of metal, half like wood. But like for gameplay sake, it has to either count as a wooden weapon or a metal one. So like a soldier's bow, for an example, and soldier's shield, those are counted as wooden weapons just because it's like they are metal, but they're more wood, I guess. Because there's like no weapons in the game that have the properties of both. It's either metal or wood from what I'm aware of. But for stuff in, the in between, they just kind of had to pick something. <laughs> Which is funny to think about. All right. <laughs> well, it's not super challenging when they're all spaced like this. Come on. What do you help to achieve here? Not much. Well, thanks for the parts. Oh, and last one over there. We can give him a bit of spin action, though. Okay. <laughs> did we do this right? Let's hope so. We did not. Okay. <laughs> I need to get the, the spear spin right. There we go. Now we did it. Okay. <laughs> Just activate that hitbox. Nice and shocky now. Yeah. That indeed does the trick. <laughs> it looks satisfying. Yeah, it's, it's like weird. You gotta press the attack button, but cancel it with the jump. But then you have to cancel the jump. So it's like, you attack, then cancel it with holding the jump. Then cancel the jump with B. And then now it's active. So. Oh, <laughs> like that. Exactly that. So you can do a spin attack. You can uh, just hold it like this. Yeah, a normal attack uh, does make it go away, though. So, attack, jump out of it, cancel that. And then, yeah, we can spin it, but as soon as we let go of that, it'll get rid of the active hitbox. But it looks so cool, though. Like, I love doing this. Whoa. Whoa. Where are the enemies? There you are. Good thing it's still raining. <laughs> Words I rarely say ever. <laughs> nice, okay. Chain it off him, yeah. Gold is almost no problem at all. <laughs> and he gets flung. Okay. Bye-bye. Was that it? Maybe not. Maybe not. But that should do the trick, just about. And that does it fully. And a diamond! Truly an unbreakable reward. Awesome. 
Did we miss a Korok? Oh well. <laughs> yeah, too much fun. And yeah, the thing about this, uh, it doesn't just work for elemental weapons. It works for any weapon. Uh, it just with the elemental, you get that active uh, thing. But you can use it for like any spear too to, tw to twirl it, which honestly just feels balanced in a way because it's like, you know, the animation actually matches the attack. Okay, let's go cross all that off. Um, we got, well, we already added the Hinox to the count. And on top of that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more for the count. So just our first little area. And then maybe we'll just head east and take down uh, this lagoon. So update that by nine, eight, 37. Nice. <laughs> Numbers are so high now. Oh yeah, also I didn't announce yet because people are still tuning in. Uh, but if you look at the description of this video, we have our little like week out schedule. And this weekend is when we're gonna stream the next challenge run. It's gonna be on Twitch at uh, 12 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. It'll go every day to completion. And it's gonna be the Korok run, which I've been very excited to do for a while because I think I think the Korok weapons are really cool. And yeah, if you wanna read the full rules in that for the description, it's on our Twitch page and the link, link to that's there too, so. If you can make it to that, that'll be awesome. I'm truly excited. Because probably after this run, we might do like one more slight run before Tears comes out, but that's pretty much it then until, well, a while. Because when Tears comes out, obviously we'll be taking a big break from Breath of the Wild stuff to play that game. So yeah. Is that a, oh, that is a, I was like, I thought it was an electric keys with the yellow. Why did I do that? I don't actually want the Korok. We have enough Koroks. When do I ever say that? Never. <laughs> also, nice. Just getting the vertical bikes again. So I know in this area there is like the cast puzzle, but well, there's also like some Octoroks and whatnot in the water we gotta kill. Your own mountain bike. It's funny how this is like, uh. Well, I mean, when we first got the master cycle in this game, we we're just like, oh, that, that's cool. It's like, we didn't expect Zelda games would have motorcycles. And now we're just like, <laughs> just motorcycles, you say. Oh! Uh, I think I was a little too late. But oh well. Oh, nice, it stopped raining. That's not what I wanted to happen. Also, health, health is looking a little low. I'm gonna ignore that. Uh oh. Wait, I hear something bad behind me. Not sure where that went. There you are. Oh, shock, shock arrows. No, stop rolling. Stop rolling. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Why'd I try so hard for five shock arrows? Well, I guess it puts me in control of the fight. I thought I had a little more. I did not. Again, I thought wrong, because I was too impatient. One, two, three, four. That's good. Mm, not even a jump. There we go. Oh, wait, there's a... You know what? Sure, we'll do that. Gets a little damage. They're not so good in master mode because they don't scale the, uh... Oh, damn it. <laughs> they don't scale the bomb barrels to, to master mode, so they're pretty weak usually. Very rare exceptions, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I need more spots for other weapons that are better, too. What's a Korok boomerang? Um, well, that's my way of saying, because the boomerangs in the normal game, like the wooden ones, like uh, those are the Korok ones. It's just if I say uh, I load boomerangs, people would assume all boomerangs. But the boomerangs in this game are technically Korok boomerangs. They're just not that, because the item's description is it's a Korok weapon. So, or they're used by Koroks rather. Oh, Master Sword. <laughs> Forgot I had that. That's pretty powerful. Mm. 
Yeah, what shoddy reward is going to be in this chest? <laughs> Nothing too good. Ex as expected. Yeah. That's about the best type of reward you can get from these camps, sadly. They do suck. There's like 53 of these monster camps around Hyrule, and uh, almost none of them drop good things. Like, you could argue the plateau stuff would at least feel somewhat tiered, but even in the further reaches, it's like, wow, a silver rupee, or like a silver scale spear in like the Akala area, which is like, why? <laughs> that is not a tiered reward. All right, jump attack. Ah, uh, thought I can get the jump on him. We'll still kill him though, or maybe we won't. Did he just go away? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> he failed his mission, just instantly teleport all the world. It's like, nah, I'm out of here. I think he conjured for the remembership. Hmm. What Zelda game that I used to play all the time before Breath of the Wild? Um. I didn't really play a Zelda game like, like I, as much as I do with Breath of the Wild before it, mainly because the other Zelda games don't have as much replay potential. Like they're more linear and straightforward, um, not as much variety between playthroughs. So um, I can definitely say I played each of the three Zeldas at least four times over, from start to end, if not more. Um, but it was never like in a row or like anything like this. So where I may have like. 200 some hours, maybe more, and the other Zelda games combined. <laughs> this game's like 2,000, because there's just so much replay potential. Different playthroughs, runs, all that. Okay. <laughs> nice. I didn't need the crabs. And he's running towards me. They're, they're not that bright. Yeah, I just like how they tumble across rocks. I think crabs are a pretty uh, underrated animal slash item in this game. I just love how they just like tumble over rocks. They're very funny. See, I can't repeat mistakes. No blood moon? Good. So I forget I can't jump a fifth time. Not with this amount, too. Nice. I don't think I actually need to do this puzzle. But where are the Octoroks? That's that's kind of what I'm after. And then once we do that, we can mark off everything we just did. Between the last camp and the Octos. I doubt that's a good idea. Dory Fesh. Yes. There's the Octos. These are the ones we need to kill. Also, is it just a funny joke to tell a streamer that there's someone behind me, so I look behind me? I've been noticing in chat. <laughs> Which I almost fell for that, so that was a good one. But no, there's no one behind me. Octrox are the worst, but the materials are some of my favorites at least. I like the balloons. You know what's cool about balloons? Uh, well, I noticed recently, I, I do need to find a platform to use it on. But I noticed that you can stasis, uh, well, the balloons, like, while they're active, and then launch them upwards to create, like, a mini rocket. Which is very cool, and we'll utilize it if we have time. Or a reason, rather. Hello. <laughs> that wasn't even close. I'm giving you a fighting chance. No more fighting chance. <laughs> Just the helm slice. Oh, and whatever that was. Oh, another one. Okay. They're just in like their own little ponds. <laughs> I hit the rock. I, I don't know what killed him first. The rock being deflected by my sword or my sword just like pile driving right into him. Honestly, could not tell you. Also, there was like a little Octorok pond over here. I didn't notice that. <laughs> nice. When he dies even before the parry animation's over. Thought I could get that. Wait, maybe we can. No. What if, like, one specific angle? No, okay. 
Of course, making nieces is the easy answer. I just wanted to see if there was an alternate answer. You know, there is an alternate answer. There always is. Damn it. <laughs> Look, I know I can make nieces. Just give me a second. Experimenting. Yes. Wait, I'm going to do it. Uh, uh, <laughs> give me a fighting chance, please. Drill shaft, sure. Make a rocket. It lost weight. No, <laughs> but it did launch up pretty far. Damn it. Okay. Wait, one more, one more time. We're trying it with this. Because this is very important. Well, I feel like maybe we need two, but just to stasis launch one. Where are my balloons? I, I officially... Oh, there we go. Uh... Arrows are not good launchers for stasis. Yeah, there's not a point to this. Oh, I'm cutting it off during that. Okay. It is clear. Cool. Yeah, I guess you can detach the balloons and just watch them fly. You know, I'm going to do that next. I didn't even realize you could do that. Because it doesn't make sense. You can just shoot the string, right? It's like they're tied to that. Yeah, you can just shoot the strings. I didn't know you could do that with balloons. And then... A little archery practice. Pop. <laughs> okay, this is actually too much fun. Okay. Mm. Damn it. Same effect. It's okay. I don't I don't know if it gets lighter with that or what. Here, let's try this. Just gonna shoot some bombs at it. And that also- Oh, it does not break it, okay. <laughs> no, Chess, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what was that? It's still attached to. It had the nerve to still be attached. <laughs> We're watching that again. We're watching that. <laughs> okay, okay. Saved. Please, that was glorious. <laughs> okay, obviously not, not very glorious right there. <laughs> I was very convinced it was going to hit right in my direction too, so I got a little nervous, but... Okay, we're doing once more. Uh, let's see if I can actually do what I was trying to do. <laughs> New glitch? I guess so. Thank you, Breath of Wild, yes, for the two. Also, a nice pro wall picture. <laughs> I I, I kind of recognize that. Um, okay. I've never seen this ever before. This is amazing. Let's launch towards him. It does not sever the connection. Hmm. Last time I just struggled. You know, that's fine. We're, we're gonna leave it as that right now. Maybe, maybe it's just like too heavy. I'll try it in a lighter object or something. Uh, <laughs> and then maybe after I dump, I'm done hitting it, I'll uh, like attach some more balloons or something. You know, I, I don't know. We're, we're going to leave it at that, though. Interesting. Very interesting. What a, what a series of events. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see what our map has to bring. It seems like that was it. It was just those five Octoroks. Um, oh, there's also some keys at the camp I didn't even know about. So let's preemptively mark those. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 in total. Okay. The keys are counted to that, so we'll make sure to do that. 
Brings up to 2550. I like the even numbers. Sorry, Dragon, I'm not worried about you. Okay, so I'm gonna check that skull, and then uh, there's that one, like, stall enemy that was up north. There's gonna be some, like, really odd stragglers that take some, just a little bit of a detour to get. But, you know, it'll be okay. I'm not worried about the dragon. We don't need dragon stuff or anything. We already have dragon parts. I like the shield. I hate having to not pick them up. Because they just look cool. I like the pattern ones, like the emblazoned or whatever. Sorry, Night Shield. We already did the night run. I want fresh equipment. You ever wonder if I accidentally count wrong? I have a couple of times. Uh, I was able to correct things in between streams, though, which usually doesn't happen anymore. Uh, last stream, I forgot to update like five to the counts, but it was pointed out to me, luckily. Um, but yeah, th things are double checked, and especially uh, there are people that help with that, too, which I do appreciate. But if we hit any sort of big hurdles later in this run, well, it'll be a pain to just cross regardless. But that's expected. There's just so many things, so there's going to be a little user error. But we'll get through it. Up till now, it's stuff's been checked many times, and the counts are, as we know, accurate. So, What are some of the, the craziest bugs I've seen in Breath of the Wild? Well, I guess that one. I feel like that's the craziest that's happened to me, honestly. I, I don't think I can think of one that's on that same level. I'm like, gonna be fully honest. Like, that was really something. Okay. Well, that's done. So now the count is fully correct. Um, and it seems like this updraft just leads straight to where we need it to be. Also, we're up the ancient shield I had. Uh, we busted in the last stream instantly after I got it. Thank you, thank you, Guardian. Um, <laughs> In master mode, yeah, always master mode. Uh, the exception is when I do normal mode and I say it. Otherwise, my normal is master mode. Which is only fair because I've played the game so much, so mostly normal mode will be just too easy. Just from someone who's played it a bunch, you know? It's more balanced to where I am. So, I guess that's my justification. Also, the sun's rising. I'm really trying to kill this enemy. Boop. Yeah, I can't let that happen. Bye-bye, yep. Skelly Head. <laughs> right before the crack of dawn. Also, is that Evan's hide? I... Huh? Oh, there's other little islands in the sea. Wait, that's Evan's hide, right? No. Huh. You know, I didn't even know that there was other little islands. I mean, I know you can't go there, but I didn't know... I didn't, like, explicitly notice it, you know? Watch new game you can. I don't know. Um, interesting. I mean, yeah, it's it's nothing special. It's just a backdrop, but... Also, just look cool in the light, so... I pointed it out. There we go. Alright, that'll be our 51st. Alright. Out of bounds pyramid. <laughs> yeah, it's something. And yeah, if the new game comes with a master mode, I'll be playing it normal first. Yeah, just because it's like a... I mean, as Platinum said, I still always want to experience a game, the base difficulty, the way it's meant to be played first. You know, because it, it, it's only right and fair. Which is why I don't always like when games release with, like, so many difficulty options, because it's like, which way is actually the best way to play it? Like, in some ways, it's good for accessibility, but in other ways, it's like, I do want to play it the most holistically and, like, true to balanced that the developers intended. And then afterwards, if I put in some playthroughs and it's too easy, I'll switch over to the harder modes, because that makes sense. Is this, uh, this can't be an updraft. Cool rock. Okay. I guess so. Um. There's a Talos Plateau. I wonder what's up. Why is there a Hinox on the Talos Plateau? <laughs> that isn't right, okay? Who designs this game? I'm telling you. All right. Boom. 
Yeah, that, that threw me off. But I guess there's some enemies over here, which I don't fully recognize. I guess the only reason why I'm ever here is to kill... I mean, I think I've killed the Hynax before and also uh, the Lionel that's further. Or rather, I definitely killed the Hynax because I've 100 percent the game before many times. Uh, but this area? I can't say this is as familiar. Huh. Maybe I've been here before. <laughs> right? Uh oh. Thank you, bike, the first time. Not so much the second. Oh wait, actually, why do that when we have a fresh sword? Get him into the bike. Oh! And What? And what do you take? What what <laughs> What is a series of events? <laughs> Okay, I, I I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I need to witness that series of events again. That was what? No, there's too many things that happen. I can't I couldn't even commentate in every moment. Like what? Okay, I was like, okay, kill the bats. My mass cycle's right there. I get hit. Okay. No normal combo. And the bike, the bike. He flicks it up. My bike jumps because of the cow, but it cancels the attack. I try going. He misses him. And then midair just swipes. I don't even know this game anymore. I feel like it's gradually bre like breaking. But I love that. I just love how like like that was not supposed to happen, but that was so funny. What is going on? And then down, and then up, and then down, <laughs> and then up, and then down. Ooh, really a helm split that time. It's like a nail in the head. Meanwhile, the bike vanishes. I didn't even notice that one. <laughs> yuck, and okay, yuck. All right, though. Um, I can't say I've ever been to this camp before. Like, I, I can't say for certain. Maybe, maybe not. It might have been one of those things where I went to it once, but it was so long ago. And not like a memorable camp. It's just with so many hours in this game, if I do see something new, it feels more surprising. Because whenever I play this game, I always had the mild assumption that I have seen everything. And then <laughs> obviously stuff happens. And it's a very interesting uh, well, kind of cycle to see all the random stuff. Or even just new stuff. You know, the Moblin failing to pick up the Boko the first time and then gets him out of midair the second. Never seen that camp, even though he fought the Lionel so much. That's fair. Yeah, it is. It is tucked. I can't say I have. <laughs> Alright, um. Should we go with the spear spin? I. Well, I would like a spear to do that. Let's go with the boomerang gun. <laughs> Poink. Hi. Boink. <laughs> I've been really fond of boomerangs lately. Okay. Yeah, just keep doing it. I don't know, it's fun. It just bounces all over the place. Oh, that's not fun though. My boomerang's over there. Wait. Come back. Wait, no, it wasn't my possession. What the? <laughs> what a nice block, too. Hinox props, but Hinox dead. And for a, I don't want to long throw a sword. Um, I guess the Royal Bow could be better. Attack up, that's nice. Hey, Breath of All DS, thank you for the five. The Meeple Run was your favorite. It was so fun to watch. It's one of my favorites, too. I, uh, I think I'll always cherish that Meeple Run. I mean... For one, being my first challenge run, and uh, just for the fact that it was so random, like, well, both of the Amiibo runs we did were very unpredictable, and we kind of had to go along with that as the drops gave us new potential sort of thing. So it was very fun, awesome run, and glad you liked it too. Two long throws. Such yucky odds. 
Thank you, Kanjo. Half of Hyrule is now dead. A pretty ominous title for a supposed heroic run. Uh, are you sure I'm not the villain? Well, maybe that's what it's implying. Um, I mean, the moblins, they just are not moblins, but the enemies, they just spawn into the world, you know? It's like, they didn't choose to be born from Ganon. They just are. They're li living life and enjoying it, and we're taking that away from them. So maybe we are the true monsters, you know? <laughs> Against Ganon, no. But these guys... I don't know, half time to just sing, dance, and, you know, hang out around a fire together. So, maybe we are the villains. No NPCs killed, just nice and friendly but goblins. Okay, um, good thing the archers are nice and weak. Oh, didn't mean a bomb arrow, but, okay, I guess I meant it. Meteor rod? Hmm. She don't attack me. Y you will now, but... Uh, I didn't want to go that way. Okay, get hit by a really weak bomb. Awesome. That does three damage. <laughs> Head drop. Not intended. Okay, catch up fireball, please. I don't think I got him. <laughs> My intention was a little different. Get all that, and then Flurry, okay. Meanwhile, he's roasting in the fire, so he's not gonna regen health. Which I'm actually surprised that uh, worked out the way I was hoping it would. Oh, spit, I was like, what? Sometimes I confuse the spit with like electricity when it's just like slow-mo and it just happens. Cause I thought I wasn't paying attention. I dodged everything, not flurried though. But I guess it was a good dodge. Oh, the tongue. It's a tad dangerous. That wasn't very tongue in cheek, was all close. Nice. Ooh. Down the hill, into the tree, sure. Get hit by the tree, no! <laughs> so close though. I guess I'll finish off the tree. And then, oh, Topaz. What? Are you... Are you resting just in the middle of the rocks? Why here? That's not your home. I guess it just makes it easier for me, though, so... Sure, sure, I'll take that. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. I think those are dynamic guys. Yeah. There's a little raft here. Was that our doing from the tree, or was that always there? I couldn't tell ya. Mm. Yeah, Master Mode Regen is pretty punishing, especially for uh, the main trio of enemies, like Lizalfos and whatnot, if you don't kill them fast enough. So it does make it even harder to take down later game stuff at an earlier point. Mm. The Lionel's over there. Let, let's check what we all did, sorry. Okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five, that mini camp. We got the Talus, quote unquote, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. I see there's one weird thing. Okay. There's always like weird skeleton enemies, enemies in just odd areas for, for no reason. Just to throw me off, that's the reason. Okay. Mm. What time is it? 12.05, we will. We'll make a thing for nighttime, because after the Lionel, we're going to kill that stall enemy. Do Octoroks spawn as enemies? Only certain ones, because uh, Octoroks are one of the few enemies that can be dynamically spawned or randomly spawned. So they're set static spawns, like the ones that we killed earlier today. Those are the ones we got to kill. Uh, but they can still appear randomly in some places. But the only way to tell is using the map that we do. And all that's in the description. Uh, and that goes for any of you who are newer. Yeah, in terms of like the run, like basic questions and resources, they're all down there, so. Such a cool shot with the, the Lionel, the ancient pillars, and then the islands in the back that you can't even go to. I swear, if you can go to those in tears, that'd be funny. The assumption is that it expands beyond it. Boom. Uh, we will pick it up at the end. 
Delivery. Uh oh. Woo. That was a cricket. Wait. I just saw a prompt. I didn't see what I was picking up. I didn't know it was just a cricket. That was my boomerang. I didn't have a good eye on it. Yeah, one hit. Okay. <laughs> this will be a pretty fast melt. Oh, yeah. Still only a fifth of wheel stamina. How nice. He's really trying to just delay this battle off for the region, huh? <laughs> They're just extra punishing. I don't even have to use... Yeah, I'm just going to use a single shot. I think anything more is wasteful because I only have one of those. Um, Sure. Quick shot's always nice for this. Missed. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, my prediction is that he's going to have a long throw sword and uh, a guard up shield and a five shot bow. So the five shot bow will be nice. Yeah. Be a little more accurate there. Butt slaps. <laughs> Let's go. Giddy up. Two more runs should be just okay. Nice. We got it. Such a weird hitbox that always like moves when he gets up. It's funny how the game can be so generous with the parry window for like everything besides like the guardian sometimes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. I, I I should not <laughs> I should not be jinxing myself like that. Woo! Good. Skimpson spins to death. Yeah. <laughs> He's a furious yellow face right now. He's like, oh crap, I messed up. Ah! The fear in his face. When I'm attacking, it was kind of funny. He's like, anger too. Uh oh, fear. Oh no, 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 no. His teeth come out. And being a sore loser and yelling for defeat. Okay. So, pretty good stuff. That is our, uh, our guard up shield. A lot of sapphire, okay. My prediction is a guard up shield. It is a guard up shield, okay. <laughs> um, sorry, fish. I, I know I just talked about how much I like them, but oops. It's, it's almost the same as that, wow. Long throw sword. Damn it, okay. <laughs> Five shot bow. It's like a gambling game. Damn it, okay. But it's quick shot. I, I do like quick shots. Means I can prime them a lot faster. I do appreciate how some bows have built-in quick shot though. I always thought that was cool. It's only uh the Rito bows, the Royal Guard bow, and then the Korok bow. Which uh we'll get to use that this weekend when we do the Korok run. So Yeah, because the Forest Dweller bow is like one of the most just it's one of the most unique in terms of stats, because it has uh faster draw, like a Rito bow, but it also is like slower arrow travel for some reason. It's a really weird stat change, but uh, I don't know. It's unique on top of the three shot it has. So yeah, we'll get to use that this weekend in the run, which will be uh, Saturday at 12 Eastern, and we'll go every day until we beat it. So more than likely a Saturday through Monday thing, like how most runs are. But yeah, that's in the description. Uh, it's, it'll be on Twitch, so be sure to check it out there. You can ready download tiers. Actually, uh, yeah, on the eShop it's seventy dollars because, well, that's just the price of this game. But I should mention that uh, if you're a Switch Online member, uh, you can get like the game vouchers where uh, it's it can be re redeemed for two new games. Like most games apply under it, you can see like their full terms on their site, but. It's $100 for the two vouchers, which usually means you save about $10 per game, because if games are usually $60, two games is $120. But if the voucher's only $100, then uh, you save 10 per game. But the thing is, Tears of the Kingdom's also on that voucher list, and it's also only one voucher, which means you can buy it for technically like $50. So it's a really good deal. Um, 
So if you have Switch Online, make sure to get the game vouchers and uh, and buy it that way because you're not just getting $10 off, you're getting $20 off. So um, that's what I did because I'm buying it digital. And then I also got like gift cards from like a, a Sam's Club where you can get like a $100 card for like 90 So I technically got tiers for like $45. Uh, the only downside is that it's digital, but $45 is a pretty good deal. So especially compared to 70 So I'll take it. My main goal was to get uh, the collector's edition, but scalpers bought them, so I'm just like, you know, I'm just gonna buy it digital, it's fine. Yeah. I gave up all hope on getting the normal edition, or the, the collector edition. What a random Korok seed. <laughs> Where to get all my amiibos? Um, some of them I was just buying and collecting throughout the years, but... In order to finish my batch, which I did in like, it was like three years ago when I finished getting all the Amiibos, the Zelda ones. Uh, what I did is basically you can get some of like the Japanese versions for the same price. The only difference is that the packaging is in Japanese. But since there's a lot more over there and there isn't as big of a sculptor problem, uh, some websites literally have the Japanese Amiibos for like the same normal retail price and not the sculptor price. So that's what I did to buy the last few to finish my collection. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still that way, but it could be worth looking into if, if the current one that you're looking for isn't available or is only available via Sculper. But yeah, I should get a, what's it called? I should scan an amiibo really quick. Yeah, we'll do some. I, I forgot to bring them over. I'll, I'll just need one second after we kill this enemy. We can go for a few more today. Hopefully get some cool exclusive stuff. Um, sorry, I gotta see where this guy is that I'm looking for. I think I went a little far. Um, no? Okay, we killed the Lionel. It's a stall Moblin. Um, so he's like, wait, <laughs> sorry, I'm blind. It's, it's there. We, we just passed him. Uh, I guess we just wait till night. Oh huh, yeah, I don't even see him on the map. That's that's very odd. And yeah, the Octorok, uh, that was a dynamic one, so we don't do those. Okay, I mean, I guess. Oh wait, night was, <laughs> it's 6.55, did it just turn to seven? Oh, nine, right, I, for I forgot what time night was. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that wasn't there before. Usually at least like appears, you know. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Wrong way, Link. Also, he spawned a friend. We just had one. Okay, you get the water. But that's pretty much it for this area. Sometimes there's like hidden caves around here, but nothing that I found personally. No? I think we're good? Thank you for stopping right there, Rain. Also nice stuff. Okay, um, let's update the comp by two. One for the Lionel, one for the, uh, that guy. 2564. So now looking at our map, we can mark off this guy. And yeah, whole peninsula is done. There is a, of course there's a stall moblin right there. That's, that's nice to know. Um, where's our travel medallion? Nowhere here, okay. Um, we can go down from really quick while it's just nighttime. We can just wind bomb over. Um, and while that's pulling up, we can figure out where to go next. So, yeah, this whole area is pretty much done. Uh, oh, that's good. Yep. Akala was done last stream last week. That's all good. That's good. I feel like the only stuff here is like more towards the swamp. So, there's like a Hinox there. And then uh, you got like this loose stuff, like some Lizalfos. Uh, a lot of Lizalfos. And then Lanero's pretty much cleared then. So, let's go do that and then we can kind of figure out where to go next. Preferably some uh, nice and hard stuff, which I do like. I hate how it spawns you on the, the inside. Or right, the amiibo. Um, yeah, how about... <laughs> I just talked about that. How about when we had the next long screen? Because I have to walk behind my green screen to get that. 
Um, we'll get like five of them today. How about that? Obviously, we'll getting uh, we'll get the Princess Zelda Smash Bros. one because we do want that Twilight bow. We'll scan it every day, but one of these streams has got to be it. I just know it is. Huh? <laughs> it has to be. Okay, so as soon as we kill this guy, we'll warp over again, and that's when we'll grab the amiibos. I promise this time. Nice! I love when it just doesn't work. It's very fun. Or, you know, I might just be faster at this point to just fly. Yeah, it's... It's about there, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're dealing with, like, right by the water. So, like, right there. Master Cycle will probably be faster. Oh, come on. <laughs> A little too, uh, early. This guy can die? Or maybe not. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Active weapon. Yeah. That looked cool. I'm still just in love with doing that. Usually I just do it for spears, but... For stuff like that, it could still be fun. Spears are definitely the best use, though. Uh, not keys. <laughs> Get batted. So like these like broken little traveler camps. That's a modifier on it. It's an odd sight. Oh yeah, sometimes you have random blue modifiers. I think that's what it is. It's a very rare occurrence, but yeah, traveler sword with a modifier. Sure. Okay. We well, helped out good there. Now we're the actual guys I was supposed to kill. POV actually accidentally click an enemy and don't know which one it was, forcing you to retravel Hyrule to find it. Oh no. Luckily, I'm pretty sure everything's marked off well, and we've been trying to be careful. Also, that was not careful. Okay, where's the guy? Um, sorry, I got caught up in that. But as soon as everything stops spawning on me... Did I... Oh, of course, it's it's there. Okay, good to know. Oh, did I start content creation because of Breath of the Wild? Um, I would say technically yes. Although when I started making content, it wasn't really Breath of the Wild focused. It was just Zelda in general. Um, so I guess it just reignited my love for the series. But my content at first wasn't even Breath of the Wild focused. It was like, I did like a lot of Twilight Princess stuff actually. Uh, it was like random stuff like top tens and reviews and stuff. <laughs> Little rankings and analysis videos. But, uh, yeah, eventually things shaped up to the way it is now. And I... I couldn't be more happy for that, because it's been a very fun adventure. With all the adventures. <laughs> oh, as long as they're off my tail. I hate these random... Like, <laughs> these guys already spawn randomly enough. We just had to put certain set spawns in the most unpractical locations. Okay. Um. Now let's warp to the tower and clear everything. And yeah, Lanero's almost done, actually. That'll be our third region. Top 10 Twilight Princess bosses. Yep, that was my first video. <laughs> yeah. The early YouTube trope videos. When YouTube was obsessed with top 10s. That was, that was great. I mean, so was I. <laughs> Stats of the stream. Considering that there are 10 weeks left before the uh, release of Tears of the Kingdom. 237 enemies left per stream. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to get the amiibo, like I said. Um... We're grabbing one, we're grabbing the Zelda, and we're grabbing a couple others. Two, three, and four. You're coming with me. Okay. I think we're going for the same ones again. Uh, if we need more, I'll, I'll, I'll pull those later. But I didn't want to forget because I almost did. Almost being the keyboard. No piggy. No piggy today, but I do I do have Baby Floyd. I, I, I couldn't forget Baby Floyd, of course. So, uh, sadly, he's not an amiibo. But we do have one, at least. Zelda, Twilight Princess. And this is for the Twilight bow, hopefully. I guess it could be done on the tower, but maybe not because of the cover. I never tried. 
Let's get the flat grant grown first. <laughs> yeah, this should be fine. Okay. So, Zelda, scanner in. Hopefully the Twilight Bow, because it'll be awesome to have a mini bow light. Especially if it's like an attack up one, that'll be extra cool. I think the first one I ever got was an attack up, so. Come on, I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it. I mean, I, I still got something good. <laughs> oh well, fire roll bow. Okay, next one. Also because you can buzz off. I do want to get the Fierce Daddy Armor, because that's a cool alternative to the attack. And Majora's Mask Link does just that. So, scan him in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kicking around the foods. Interesting. <laughs> Save scum? Nah. Too much time for something that could not be good, but this is very good. Wow, okay. <laughs> the one time I was really not expecting or anything. I was just like, yeah, what? you know, it, it's... Oh. Yeah, that, that, that's good. Um, <laughs> according to legend, these boots were once worn by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. Wearing them provides godlike power. That's literally the most just raw description. Okay. It doesn't really fit this set, but... <laughs> What's nice about this is it basically works the same way as the Barbarian set. And I, I'm pretty sure, like, both, like... Functionality wise and like how you upgrade it too, like it, as long as I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has the same exact stats for armor the set bonus uh, the attack up and then the materials put into the upgrades I think the only difference obviously is the looks and the fact that you can't die it So it'll be a cool set to have and it's full And yeah upgradable so that is nice very cool All right, I uh, wasn't expecting that let's let's save the other three for after we kill a few more enemies Oh, we actually got some exclusive today. It's not too uh, much of a common chance. But yeah, just wearing it with this outfit will look silly. But maybe we'll fix that in a bit. Alright, Tynox. I want to see how far my boomerang method can get with you now. Punk. That didn't go so far. We just phased through. Oh, wait. No, no. We missed the eye. <laughs> Look at his lips. We're not that tasty. I'm wearing metal. Uh oh. I forgot when it's about to break, you can't really use the boomer like that. Because. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Wait. Yeah, sure. Love it. <laughs> and then. Flamer slam! Yes, okay. <laughs> the grab at the same time. And chop those legs down. Long throw. Stop giving me long throws. This this has to be better, right? Durability. I mean, it is better. <laughs> I'm still always going to complain about that. Okay. Now let's go westward. Because we got another enemy. I think that's the only one that was over here. Because if I'm looking at it correctly. Uh, mark off that guy, of course. Yeah, everything on this side of the river... Leading to the domain should be done, besides, I guess, that stuff, which we'll do at the end. Um, yeah, there's a couple things down here that we just didn't do, it looks like. Includes a blue Lizalfos and a blue Lizalfos, so. Let's get them. <laughs> we were just trying to rush to uh, the Divine Beast when we were first over here. And we actually did kill most things in the area, which was very good. So the fact that we only left, like, very few things behind was not too bad. All right, let's make this interesting. Where are you? This guy's a spear, so I feel like I've encountered him before. Um, unless we just forgot to mark that in the map. <laughs> I know the count's right, but sometimes if I forgot to just crossing off on the map, it's a different story. I might have to check that off stream if I can't find it. I want to make sure that if it's not on the map, that uh, if I add it to the count or not. Damn. Wait, are we in the right area first, or am I literally just uh, choking it? 
Yep, we seem to be in the right area. Um, that'll be something I check off camera then. Uh, Cause I'll have to go back to that stream to see if we did it. Sadly, but we would hit a few bumps like that. There's just a lot. Okay, next one should be in that, that pond. So I'm gonna warp to that. But in the meantime, yeah, we can check that later. Um, a lot of bacoblins there, okay. Oh yeah, it's like a camp inside like these ruins, which is pretty interesting. So we'll get to see that. A few stragglers. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Which enemy type is it? It was a it was a blue Lizalfos with a Zora spear. I knew I would have seen it because uh, well, that was a prominent one for the Zora run, because getting Zora weapons. Pretty much any enemy that has like a, a themed champion weapon or like. A theme weapon for one of the races. I do remember because it was usually a good source of that weapon for that run, so it kind of stuck out to me more. In this case, um, okay, I explicitly do remember killing him and he's gone. I'll have to check that stream just to make sure, um, because obviously he wasn't marked off on the map, but did we update that to the count? Uh, so I'll have to make sure. If we didn't add him to the counts, we'll do it in between the streams, and if we did, then it's all good. But okay, as long as I know now. Also, this area is pretty cool because <laughs> the meat stash grows back. There's not even any bacoblins to replenish it. Maybe it's the Koroks doing it. Maybe the Koroks found refuge, you know? I think they deserve it. After all, Kork is like probably the maj majority population in Hyrule, so. Yeah, okay. Let's keep heading westward. Yeah. Octoroks, that's okay. Yeah, if you see me pass a dynamic enemy, like an Octorok or a Choo Choo, that means it's totally random because obviously if you look at the map, they're not on there, which means that they're random. So if I save and roll the game, they won't be there. Or maybe they will. You never know. <laughs> Randomness works in funny ways. You just checked. Um, do you know if we updated the counts with them, Platinum? Or because my theory is maybe we updated the count, but we just forgot to box them off, which is all I need to know. Which I, I can always check that too after the stream. Totally chill. Okay, it's so nice going through these Lizzle camps and not being attacked every two seconds. Certainly a feeling. So past this island, there is that stuff. Oh, this guy. Wait, this is the, uh... I forget about him. Yeah. Who is he again? Huh? Have I been to the domain? I have. It's a long way. Uh. Traveling merchant. A love letter caught your eye. Oh, there's a love letter quest. Right, okay. I forgot. I was like, wait a sec. I, I remember it. Kind of an odd quest. You literally have to like uh, trans, like transport a whole letter down the uh, thing, the river. Which I guess will be easy with no enemies, but still. So what are you? I guess we just forgot to pick that up. Did I seriously not loot the gold ruby chest here when I killed the enemies? I I guess not. You remember what stream we got them in? It should have been the. Uh, the road to 250k stream when we did Ruta. That's what it would have been, I'm pretty sure. Likely. <laughs> okay. Go over here. I forgot there's like a dam there. First live stream, wanted to say hi? Hello. Yeah, welcome to everyone tuning into uh, just the stream and uh, especially for those, you know, following the playthrough up until now. Because, yeah, being at the halfway point and crossing it, it's. <laughs> It's definitely a cool feeling. Especially considering it's our last uh, main playthrough of Breath of the Wild before the new game. But it all culminated to this. It's, 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 it's been a great time. He missed a little bit. A for effort. Oh, corner mash. Uh, I was going to try to hit him into the fire, but fire gone. Only rain. This is a pretty neat camp. Not many monsters take advantage of huge ruins like this. 
But me, I take advantage of the rain. That's my way of staying ahead. Nice and easy. Bloop. Uh oh. <laughs> a little a little too far there. Bye bye. What's in the chest? Long throw, come on. Quit teasing me like that. It's okay. Well, that's all good, that's all good. And yeah. Pretty fine clear out. Did not mean to do that. I meant, wait, stop jumping forward. There we go. I guess I can't break that fire. I think the preset ones you can't break, maybe. Right? Oh. Sometimes it like jumps forward when I'm just trying to jump and do it. I don't know why. Probably just the way I'm tilting. I don't mind just chewing up all my durability too. Oh, hello. Bye bye. Love how it still gives you the prompt to sneak strike even after you just whack him to death almost. Zone eye pillar. I definitely know some stuff's over here. I might drop a medallion. Because I know I have to go back down a little bit the other way too. So it acts as a good midway. Some more, you remember this specific ruins camp? I remember it too, because it was such a wild discovery for me. Because it's like, I don't know, it truly did feel different in an interesting way. So yeah, I totally get that with some of the camps. It's like, I always kind of remember them, even if I only did them once or twice before. Also, it's a pretty hard trend to get in the rain. I don't know if there's a good workaround, really. Kill everything here, then mark all that off. Meat, please. Thank you. Another fool. <laughs> oh, come. A mess. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't really know if there's a way to do this without, uh, well, galing over it. So I guess we'll kill over it. Can I answer my own question? Because you can't really break in the rain, can you? Hmm. Yeah, personally, I don't see a, a solution. That's very easy. I see a solution for that guy. Mifa's grace is ready. Thanks, Mifa. Switch back to the Master Sword. <laughs> Use it just so often, but we're kind of using other stuff in between. Oh! I think the Octorok sniped me first, and it was that noise that alerted him. We don't always appreciate our Octorok friends. They can be a little annoying. No headshot? Good. We need him to come up so we can actually do damage. Yeah. Okay. Just regen all of your health. Perfect. And then, yeah, miss me too. Really not your day. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Jump perfectly back straight so I can still attack you. Why not? And run to the wall. Yep. Gonna run our room soon. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two. Oh. <laughs> Cutting my shots here. Trying to tongue flail me. No match for that. Ooh. Haha. -ha. <gasps> Had to uncue that attack. What kind of jump was that? Yeah, sometimes it's, it's a bit silly. Oh, hi. All right, who's ready to get bonked here? Or wait. I think you are a goblin. That's not the way I was doing that. Go! Yes! Yes! It worked! Wow, I was really hoping it would. That was great. 
<laughs> go cannon, go. We always leave it to the boxes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to. The odds of that working was pretty slim. Can we get two? I think we can. Yep. Well, <laughs> oh, we kicked him back too. That's pretty good. No shield. Only death. <laughs> Yeah, death. <laughs> As I said. Uh oh. Not for me. Just you. Bye bye. Sorry. Wait. That's a fine. <laughs> Diamond, that was good. Sorry, it's very interesting for me to see, like, whenever I do a backflip and I kick into an enemy and do damage. Because so I've noticed that a few times now, but I don't know exactly how that works. I guess I just do a little damage when I'm backflipping. And bowl time specifically. Um. I'm just trying to review that more. I'm like, why does that happen? Yeah, that dude got sniped. Mm. Zucchini plane. I remember that. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, now we can use the bomb barrels, but I'm not. So. I like instantly smacking crates with the uh, attack armor master sword combo. The meat. I was like, I'm forgetting something. Of course, a nice seared steak. It's visually deceptive. It's a lot bigger on the spit than it is in my pockets. Okay, let's see what we're at. Um, so we killed the ruins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't even see that, did I? That's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen enemies just there. Yep. Okay. And that's why I put a medallion, because I knew not everything would be gotten. Brings up to a nice 2580. So another nice round number. Okay. Let us go. I mean, I guess back there. <laughs> There's some Lizalfos there. And also some more Lizalfos south of there. Okay. Um, so let's do that. I think we're going to scan in another Amiibo, though, in the meantime, because... We did two. Next, because I really like this one, and we could potentially get a uh, very good shield, is the Princess Zelda Wind Waker one. Because we can maybe get the hero shield, which I like a lot, and I think that'll be a good option. Also, Floyd says hello again, because he's literally just been in my lap this entire time. Um, yeah. I think earlier today, just like I was, I was doing work and I noticed uh, a Bobby was in my lap. It was kind of funny, so. Oh, Opal. Usually Bobby and Floyd chill in the desk. Um, sometimes the other guys too. Just because they keep me company while I'm at, uh, just sitting here for long hours, I guess, is the best way to ward it. Bye, bird. Ah. Okay, so Lizalfo's over there. And then there's some more also nearby. Lift off. <laughs> yeah, fishy. <laughs> He got lifted. More for me. That's why I love when the, the sun's out and everything's just all bright and shiny. Especially with the golden Zalfos in the sun. It's like, oh wow. I mean, very golden. <laughs> Want to see something less impressive? You guys saw that last thing with the Bacoblin. But have you ever seen this? Not with that. Normal arrow. Yeah! <laughs> really not as impressive. But we still landed it. Before he could jump back, we just caught him in the helicopter blast. Oh! Not that time. That was like a same time counter. Oh, no tongue. <laughs> That's gross. We talked about that. That's better. Oh, he still got me. <laughs> I thought we would have missed that. Ooh. Okay, bye bye. See, now we're fine. Get the diamond. So many guys, these guys are just dropping diamonds. It's kind of great. 
Mm. Well, that's it for that. Um, I don't think anything's in these woods. Maybe a quark in the tree? No? Couldn't tell ya. Some zap rooms are nice, so... Just conveniently outside the Zora area. Although I definitely missed them my <laughs> first few times. Leaf? Awesome. I leaf. Leafs have like a 25% chance of just dropping when you break a tree. So you can get a lot of leafs if you so desire. Okay, so I believe by those rocks there's some Lizalfos. So we can get those guys and we'll just uh, kind of cycle around. Good thing we have it. Clear with the rest of this. And then after this, there's that like one small area with like uh, the Hinox that we can do. Hello. <laughs> we missed. Goldie with the boomerang. You know, my favorite trope is in this game when very powerful enemies have very weak weapons, like a boomerang. Quark boomerang. Oh, that just took two shots to kill a golden <laughs> lizard. That's so, that's so fatal. I'm sorry. It's always exciting. A major a trial of strength, yeah. In this way, it's not even a trial, though, with all this stuff. Now just imagine this in normal mode. Like, if the max enemy is just silver, it's even faster to just melt. Jump over that. That actually worked. I wasn't expecting it to. Um, let's see. What are we at for the map? I may be too far. Okay, we did one, two, three right here. Then we did four and five. And then now we got... Uh, well, let me update that to the count really quick. So, 85. Now... Mm, yeah, let's... Let's put in stuff in accordance. So I'm going to put two right here. Maybe yeah, did go a little far. Um, there's one right here. There are two right here. It's easier to do it this way, just when they're so spread out. And then the one we missed right there. So not so bad. And that should be everything Linero then? Oh, and uh, four here, including some bats. Yeah, and that basically marks off everything with the exception being uh, this small area then. So we'll just conquer that at the end. Oh, including that too. Be an easy way to get some kills. <laughs> okay, well the narrow clear is almost done, which is our third region. That'll feel very good. And the bike just makes everything too convenient. Uh... So yeah, about that. Wait, I know it's the NPCs. Are they somewhere else or did we save them before? And I just forgot to mark it off. So they're definitely dead, but I didn't mark it on the map. But I'm just wondering if I marked it on the counter. I think I'll have to go back to that stream and check. Sadly, yeah, but we'll do that off screen because it might take a little bit. Including that guy too. I, I feel like we killed him. We just forgot to mark it off on the map. Is that the case? I. We'll have to check that past stream. I'm pretty sure it was also the the, the Divine Beast Varuta stream. I'm pretty sure that stream there's a couple things I accidentally missed. Also, hi, Bloopy. That makes it worth it. Just a tad, you know. Oh, <laughs> I love how they just slide down the grass and leave little imprints. Okay. Um. Yeah, so sorry about that. So I'll have to check those two things along with the two Lizzles. So I definitely killed them. I'm just not sure if I updated them to the counter or not. Croton's just the great calamity for Breath of the Wild enemies. Yep. And the worst calamity they'll ever see. Aha, okay. Now we're cooking. Still using that five shot very uh, brutefully. At all times. We'll get another. Lightning rod I don't need. I forgot that there's one like in the entrance here. I'm not gonna lie. 
That one always escapes me. Let's get that far off one. Or those two far offs, and then we'll go back for the other because that one requires nighttime. Oh, hello. Get a little extra air. Two, three, and then back on the bike. <laughs> I love if I could just jump back. I used to not like that, but now that I know to use it to my advantage, it's very helpful. Bye bye. A little drift. Flex on their bodies and get their parts. Nothing too great, but stuff is stuff. <laughs> Is your favorite area for getting hardy radishes? Yeah, I definitely saw some. That is pretty nice. I still think the best hardy spots uh, for the durians in the in the jungle. Nothing really tops that, but for radishes, yeah, stuff like this can be good. A lot of variety. Uh, I think that's my best farming spot for the fleet lotus seeds, which is the best ingredient for speed buffs in the game. Which, I mean, it's definitely not the best buff in the game, but if you cook that with like some dragon parts, you can get a. Uh, very high duration meal, so if you just want to run around faster, you can do that. But even so, like, a level 3 speed buff only makes you, like, 30% faster. So, it's definitely noticeable, but not super, super good. Especially with things like, you know, good horses, the master cycle, even wind bombs. There, there they are. Hi. <laughs> One-shotting them. Sure. Was that it? That was it. We got one, two, three. One second, let me check my map. Um, so one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna give it a big, yeah, that makes it easy. And we'll kill those last four down there. Four and four. So 89. Got it. I know we're passing some Koroks, but it's like we literally don't need all these Koroks. They're just gonna end up in the garbage bin because I'm not trying to get like those final weapon slots where it costs like 35 seeds a piece so that's just not too worth it I'm not trying to 100% this run so even if I only get like half the quarks I pass I'm still getting too many seeds but yeah they're there <laughs> defeats every enemy <laughs> then a new enemy gets unlocked a Korok <laughs> just the chief Korok comes in. This town isn't big enough for all life. These Koroks are just taking over. Yeah, because there's like 900 in the world, and then there's even more in the forest itself. So, like, there's probably almost like a thousand Koroks in Breath of the Wild. Like, have you ever thought about that? Like, I don't think, I don't think there's like a thousand of anything in Breath of the Wild, but Koroks, yeah, why not? Maybe the Koblins? I forgot the Bacoblin count. I think Bacoblins might be kind of close to a thousand, but I don't know. I feel like Koroks are the most populated species. Whoa! Bike shots! Yeah! Now that just feels badass. You can't tell me otherwise. I didn't get that at the end. Okay, I love the bike shots so much. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> nice! Okay, good. What a, what a ragdoll. I have to save the funnies. I feel like I like saving stuff more on my Switch, especially because my first few playthroughs of Breath of the Wild, specifically the first two, I wasn't able to save anything because uh, the capture feature on the Switch didn't even come out until like seven months after the Switch released. So, uh, yeah, like any of those captures, like beyond screenshots, I could not save, which sucks because there's definitely a lot from those first two playthroughs. There was some stuff I had afterwards when I was playing like... Uh, the Champions Belled, for an example, because the capture feature was out for that. But like my first two playthroughs, first Noble, first Master, both Trial of the Swords, yeah, none of that was saved, sadly. But my third playthrough and everything beyond that, we did on the channel, so I guess that makes up for it. And obviously the Tears playthrough, so I always like looking back at the memories, you know? It's fun. Right. Mmm. That's good. I think that just means that we're going over here. Yeah, because there are some enemies on the Valley Falls, the Rails Pond, and then just over here. And then that'll be fully it for Lanero.
We're like an hour and a half into the stream too. Yeah, thank you to everyone for watching. Hopefully you're having fun and uh, yeah. Also thank you guys for 300 likes when our goal is usually 600. So we're halfway there, so thank you. It is nice to do this. I uh, <laughs> always have a fun time destroying everything. I hope your guys' week was good though. Weekend, I know I haven't done anything live on the channel since last week, but I had the weekend off to chill. I uh, I decided to go skiing for the first time, and it went about as expected, which was not very, because I'm not a super athletic person, um, nor do I have really good balance either. I, I spent like over two hours just kind of tumbling down a mountain, but after a few hours, I kind of got the hang of it. I think my, per my best streak was like, I was able to ski for like a consistent two minutes at a time without falling, um, which I, I guess I'll take that win just as a, as a personal accomplishment. Um, and for someone who doesn't do a lot of physical activity outside of just plain exercising. So yeah, it was, it was definitely an experience, but, uh, uh, my body didn't like it. It was, it was a bit sore for the next two days. Ooh, nuts. I would much rather stick to, uh, surfing in Breath of the Wild. You know, it's, it's basically skiing, but snowboarding, but with a shield. So yeah. <gasps> Tumbling down a mountain is still fun. Yeah, mildly. You know, it was cool. Uh, it was a pretty nice hill and had a nice view. So, for scenic reasons, it was just lovely, actually. Everything else, yeah, it was, it was an experience. Mm. Look at they just trot around the fins out, you know. They have a lot of character. I wonder how these towns will shape up in the future. <laughs> Zora Sword. Never even picked one up this playthrough because there's like almost none of the map anyways. It's funny that a lot of the champion weapons, it's or not champion, but like race weapons, some of them only have like a single respawning location too. So that in itself is wild to think about. Okay. Now we can... Oh, <laughs> never mind. Alright, there's the whole like the ceremonial trident or whatever. Uh, we don't need that one. It's a weakened uh, champion trident. Not necessary. Okay, now that we have to do a waterfall, I'm just going to uh, that and that. <laughs> yeah, let's try out these pants now. I've, you know, I feel like that's fitting a little bit more, huh? I mean, the helmet, whatever, but now we have the Fierce Lady pants, and yeah, it's, it's kind of in there. It has that navy-ish color. Uh, <laughs> Maybe better than the Phantom Greaves. Okay. I don't rock the best fits, but you definitely get the job done. So we'll take it. I'll see, I'm going to take these seeds. Oop. It doesn't want me to. How was my day, though? Um, It's going good. Uh, I was a little... Uh, <laughs> it's a little off earlier. We're trying to get into a better sleep schedule. Um, but, yeah. Otherwise... I feel like all my Wednesdays are pretty good because of uh, these streams, and I always enjoy them a lot. Also, I've been trying to catch up on a lot of shows lately. Like, uh, I was talking about how I started watching Death Note, which is pretty fun. I'm almost like halfway through. Um, also, I started Better Call Saul, which is the, the Breaking Bad spinoff, and that's pretty cool. You know, it has a totally different vibe, but uh, has some fun callbacks, and it works. I, I like the characters a lot. So I really want that loot, so I'm going back down for it. Ow, that was deeper. But yeah, usually I like watching shows, uh, especially at nighttime, because it's like sometimes I just have a hard time sleeping at night. Also, ten arrows nice. Uh, but if I just, you know, kind of drone my mind out for like even like an hour tops, like it helps because my mind just races all the time. Like that's just how my brain is. So I have to kind of naturally do different things throughout the day to kind of wind myself down. And sh watching shows is a perfect way, so. Better Call Saul is so good. I'm only like six episodes in it, and, and I'm liking it. Has a totally different energy from Breaking Bad, but uh, yeah, it's neat. I, I like Saul's character a lot too, so that definitely helps. And Mike, of course. Okay, so those guys are dead. It's the Rails Pond now, or actually let's start from the top. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, we'll start here, sorry. Making up my mind. Am I not supposed to get the Octoroks? Oh yeah, I guess the Sky Octoroks. 
You know what? That's what we're missing. I'm like, wait, I thought there's more than two enemies. I totally forgot in this playthrough we're killing the Akaroks. Okay. My bad. I... <laughs> Something felt off, and I know it was. I was bound to screw it up eventually. I know they respawn. It's literally just faith killing. So, like, that's why it didn't phase me. Oh, yeah, and the chest is not that good, so. Okay, let's see what we're actually dealing with now, because I, I do prefer that, so. Okay, first mark off that. That was added to the count. That was the keys and whatnot. Um, it was just the, f yep, the four enemies. Okay, good. And then over here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then, uh, there are just choo-choos up here. Yeah, it just... For some reason, six choo-choos and then a huge camp. And that's a pretty fun camp, actually. I almost forgot about it. Um, <laughs> that'll be an experience. Let's see. So eight enemies. Twenty-six to one. There we go. Crossing a new th hundred threshold. Am I not using the abilities? Um, I always turn off the uh, the fury and protection. Only because I already have a lot for combat. Um, but I keep on the Gale and the Grace because that can always be helpful. Am I doing the castle last? Yes. Uh, castle will be the grand finale ending off with Ganon because it's really the only fitting way. Like, how could we not? Whenever you try to go to bed early, it will take you forever to fall asleep. That's exactly how I am. Like, if I ever feel like I need to go to bed early, uh, that's usually when I just like watch a show or something because like it will literally take me longer to sleep. So it's like instead of struggling to fall asleep, I might as well watch a show and get tired and sleep faster. So there we go. That's just my thought process. Also, it's odd because I'm fully on my own schedule. Um, so I really have to make sure that my sleep windows is good because otherwise I can really derail myself. If I'm not careful enough. And if I do that, then I just do not have as much energy during the day, which is something I try to avoid. Okay, nice and peaceful area. Just choo-choos, I guess. Maybe loots are... A lot of animals. Kind of a nice region. Okay. The truffles, yeah. My old stuff. Hi, choo-choos. Um, where's your friends? Of course, there had to be a rough in the diamond. Uh, there's five more of you? <laughs> Thank you, Razor Clan, for the 10. Your favorite YouTuber. Thanks for the streams. No problem. Uh, thanks for being a part of this, honestly. Um, yeah, it's it's always a blast. So yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know where these choochies are. This is something we'll have to uh, just gradually figure out. I don't know. Did they appear when we weren't looking? And if that happens, they can fade away, and then you have to reload the game. So it could be that. Um, one second. I'm just gonna look at my end. Oh, okay. You have to be very close. Choo-choo's are one of the more annoying ones in this run because there's very specific triggers. And for this one, uh, should be right here. Should be right here. They might have appeared and then disappeared, which in that case, they won't appear again. So, we have to save and reload that. Because they literally, like, just goof back into the ground. Okay. <laughs> also on Twitch named Croton Zelda. Yeah, um, the Croton alias isn't available for Twitch or uh, Twitter. So I have to go for Corton Zelda. <laughs> also, there they are. Which sucks. Uh, I don't know why on on uh, on Twitch, because I don't even see anyone named Croton. But on Twitter, there's like literally like a 14-year-old account named Croton that has not talked in over a decade. And I really wish, you know, they would kind of sweep like accounts that haven't talked in a decade out from the name pool so you can still pick those names. But unless I can't. Because I'd love to have the Croton name for everything, but 
I guess Croton Zelda will have to do. And yeah, video for this, not a normal length challenge run, but we will do some highlights. There just won't be a lot of time to do a full length one. Plus that would be just an absurdly long video. Considering like most challenge ones are like, like 12 ish hours on average, and we condense it down to like an hour or so video. Um, I'm not ready to condense like a hundred hours of, of playthrough, like a week before Tears comes out. There's the Choo Choo's. I'm like, where are you guys? Okay. I guess more justified there's a Korok here, so. Some sort of means. Uh, also more hardy stuff. Cool. Where's the other choo-choo? Sorry, this is troubling. Not commonly six choo-choos in one area like this. That only spawn when you're in a very specific trigger. And then if you accidentally miss it because you're looking elsewhere, they just instantly go back into the ground. Um, <laughs> exhilarating gameplay. There we go. 2607. Now we got a big camp to deal with. And this is a pretty fun one. I'm pretty sure when we did the Lizalfos run, this was the last camp we had to do for Lanero when we're clearing that out. But it's very hidden. It's a pretty huge one, too. Literally all spiked off. Not sure what they're guarding, but yeah, it's a, it's a jumbo sized camp, all right. First flying for the loot. No, 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 no. Punch. Ow. <laughs> Not even with the armor. Got the nice arrows. A lot of archer towers. Oh. Don't make noise. <laughs> that was close. And then, as soon as we get the archers out of the way, I'll be more content. Thank you, Chicken Duff, for the dollar. Appreciate it. Uh oh. He's a little dummy, though. <sighs> Good. Come on. Hit the head. Yep. <laughs> Just barely you can get it like that, right in the neck. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Now, give him a little bit of that torch. Get the arrows. Yep, they didn't blow away. Thought that was a bomb at first. Why did I? I'm not too sure. There we go. Burn him. Woo! Nice. I just want to get the loot from the guys I killed. There's free arrows and I'm low on arrows, so... That was the goal from the start. Okay. Loot the arrows, make make the fight more fair. Two stacks is even better. Rocking the world's worst armor. <laughs> Just going for it. That may be a little far though. Yeah. Cause it'll despawn if we don't get it. See those 20 arrows. I, I desperately needed the 20. Or oh, it's 69. Play this a bit more fair. Oh, they're shooting something. Was it me? Oh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> I guess he's not fooled. They have a lot of loot. These guys are like majorly whoring stuff. One of Ganon's main bases here. Okay. Woo! Sure. Can we coolly avoid the bomb barrel? Nope. I was really trying to. Whoa. Okay, get the bomb barrel, Matt. Nope, not quite. Fine, I'll get up myself. <laughs> it's okay, Mifa, you might have to do your thing though in a minute. Go down, big slam. Yes, okay. <laughs> get them all mashed up. And they did triangulate right there. Oh, shot a fire arrow at me. Oh, not good. Yeah, they're shooting fire arrows. They got that fire working for them. Could be more ideal right now. Okay. Uh. Okay. Um, what do we do? Okay. Um, let's go for a spinny weapon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the angle is a bit off. I don't know how that other one missed me, but I'll take that as a win. 
<laughs> not a win. Oh, but the fire's a win. Okay, yeah, burn up. For all I care. Bye-bye. <laughs> when you're standing just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Talk about an event. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, well, thanks, Mifa. What's nice about this, uh... It's actually not getting hit that often. You never even have to cook food with the upgraded, uh... Mifa's Grace. Because a few times where you do die, uh, you just get replenished. And what's the regen on it? Uh, 7.30? Yeah. That'll all be done in no time. Got some loot. <laughs> Blew up most of it, though. Which is... Oh, we did have the Master Sword. You know what? I, I didn't even pay attention. What else is new? But yeah, a lot of these things, just for whatever reason. Yeah, well, the arrow's cleared. <laughs> Spiding of their camp now. Also, it's a very triangular rock. I don't know why it's like that. Also, I like how these things have faces. Camp admiring. Whoop. All right, well, maybe next. Elden's looking look pretty nice. Uh, there's some other surrounding stuff. But first, let's check our map. Because we got, well, Choo Choo's obviously are cleared. And we counted those two. For these guys, though, that was a lot of enemies. Um, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven enemies. Wow. Three of the Archer Towers. Okay. Well, eighteen. Twenty-six, eighteen. Um, let's look at our thing again. We have. Yeah, there is stuff here. I guess we could begin to take on, like, maybe this stuff intro to Elden kind of thing. Yeah, because, like, honestly, we did everything around here, but, like, this stuff in this little gap. So if we did that, then the next stuff would just be, like, the path to Elden and all that. And there's a lot of enemy density, too. Wow. Um, yeah, maybe let's start with that. We got a few stragglers right there. We can go down and take down that pretty big camp. Uh... Then that one, too. That's a pretty big camp, which I do like that one a lot. Yeah. Okay, let's do those three little bunches. Oh. <laughs> let's see where that gets us in the count. Doing pretty good on the enemy killing today. A lot of stuff that's spaced, but... Still really climbing the ranks. Which is always nice. Alright, let's go. And then we'll do an amiibo afterwards as well. Very good video. Thank you. Glad you enjoy. Want to hear a Breath of the Wild challenge? I don't mind hearing Breath of the Wild challenges. Uh, I just know a lot of the suggestions I get are usually the same few ones. Um, so I obviously I don't respond to everyone like that because uh, if it's something I just responded to, then I'll just be repeating myself a lot. But I've definitely heard some pretty interesting challenge runs between people stuff that like stuff that people suggested and even ones that you guys were attempting like yourselves and you shared with me. And I thought that was really cool too. Because I feel like one of the cool parts is, uh, you know, especially doing some of these runs and a lot of people play it afterwards. Or even just times where a lot of people do the runs first and then they see me do it. So it's all really cool. Especially with, like, the theme runs. And we'll do non-theme runs, too. From time to time, I just like the theme runs a lot. So. <laughs> Happens when the Blood Moon spawns, we just delay it. And, uh... We have the method in the description. All the stuff about the run, most commonly asked questions are in the description. All right. Um, hi, Joey. It's been a while since I've seen you. Let's first do one more amiibo, though. Because, yeah, I think I think we're due for that. Um, really want to try for the Ocarina of Time one again. Maybe get the Big Orange Sword. Or maybe the Tunic of Time. But Big Orange Sword is more ideal. I'm pretty sure it's the highest durability weapon in the game. It's either that or the spring loaded hammer. I kind of forgot. But it's the highest amiibo one for sure. <laughs> Meats. <laughs> wow. Let's see what we got. Fire arrows. My favorite. Okay. Let's do one more because that was not a good one. Um, one of my favorites is the chunky ape at amiibo because I do like the sword that he drops. He can also drop classic armor, but I guess we'll see. Oh, hi. 
Hey, Joey. Joey wants to be a part of it. Oh, not anymore. He noticed the danger. Oh, that, that barrel is dangerous. So let me do the heavy lifting here. There we go. Oh, uh, I'm just kind of scooping. Oh, okay. More precise. Yeah, this hill wasn't the best place to do it. You just, just stop, barrel. Okay. It's giving you a chance, chest. You ruined it. Oh, <laughs> we did get the cap. What the? <laughs> Our luck's been kind of funny. The very classic link. This is... <laughs> is this a fit? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the blue and green don't complement each other too well. Got the opposite, you know, color wheel-esque sort of thing going on. We're doing it anyways, because it's our first green hat. Yeah. Finally getting some amiibo armor. Two in one stream. Out of just five amiibos. Also, did we forget these travelers too? Damn, I'm going to have to check quite a few things. <gasps> yep, it seems that we did forget to mark them. Because we're definitely killed. Okay, what do we got? Wait, there, okay. Um, I'm going to check for that blizz robe, though. Did we get the blizz robe? As long as we have a full count of all the things that I just forgot to cross off the map, then I can just make sure if it's updated with the actual count at least. And we can adjust accordingly. Oh, acorn. Hi. Thank you. Yeah, I definitely got better at keeping up with everything. Uh, the first few streams of doing this was really rough because. I had a hard time figuring out how I was going to manage killing all the enemies, where to go, marking off the counts, talking with everyone, just, you know, the, the multitasking, which is honestly not my, str like, strongest thing. <laughs> I feel like for streaming, it definitely helps to be very good at ma multitasking, but I try my best. I, I really do. Um, for someone who has complete non-focused brain, I, yeah. I definitely try. It's always fun, though, but uh, it's also the fact that I'm not expected to do everything anyways because... It's, it's a lot. But luckily with Breath of the Wild, it's like if I'm doing stuff I'm, I'm familiar with to uh, it acts as a nice break in between things. Okay, Blizzard Robe's dead. So I need to get an updated count of what things I I didn't mark off the map that are killed. It would be these three things. It would be... Uh, we actually forgot the Hinox. <laughs> I thought Samantha was cleared. Uh... No, okay. We'll do it afterwards. It was these three things. It was the uh, Lizzle here, the Lizzle there, and then um, the Traveler and those two guys. So that's everything that is gone that I didn't mark on the map, but I'm not too sure if I updated to the count. Because it may have been a thing where I increased the number on the count, but forgot to mark it off. Um, so I'll check that all after my stream, uh, and we'll find it before next week's stream. Sorry about that. Also, yeah, we, I, I do want to get that, uh, that Hinox. I'm sorry, I, I thought I got everything, but it's very easy to get distracted in this when you're doing a lot of things. Rails Pond, I, you know, actually, yeah, that, that warps you very close. It's actually just wind, one wind bomb away. So it's better than the waterfall method. My KD is 74.8. That's a pretty good KD. By other game standards, that's, uh, yeah, nice. Okay, so sorry. I, uh, yeah, I lied. I didn't do Lanero. We forgot the Hinox. Let's see what good weapons we get from it. Even a normal flight can do it. But wind bomb never hurts. Never mind. Uh, wait. I'm no good at midairs. But we made it kind of work. It's a little faster than the glide. Maybe I've gotten a little better. Practice does help. Okay. Right into him, do a little uh, mounted combat. 
<laughs> kick the seat over, or else cool. Ooh. Yes. It's better with the horse, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, nice little kick up. He still passes most of my shields, so I can't have that. Oh, just missed slightly. Happens. Even without the full attack up, we're still doing good. There we go. That is it officially done now. And an attack up sword, an actually good reward. Don't usually have a third weapon though. Sometimes you just fling off the neck and then you don't find them ever. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Especially these halberds. It's probably just a long throw. Yep. Okay. True youth, the uh, exact amount of respect you deserve, which is nothing. Okay. Um, that's done. I'm actually going to ignore that because my horse is there. Um, okay, Lanero officially done. Finally. What's my favorite run? I, as much as I like all of them for their own reasons, I feel like my favorites I always resort back to in terms of what I like the most were the two Amiibo runs. I really like the Royal Guard run because I like the whole castle clear out and just using very powerful weapons that were not durable. But also, like, the whole look looked cool. Like, I love the armor and the weapons. Um... Also really like the ancient one, because there's just a lot of power in that run, and becoming that powerful was awesome. Also, yeah, hi Joey. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> He's a little diagonal today. Me too, horsey. I'm feeling that. Oh. <laughs> I think we're just going down there. It's in the pit. I can check it really quick. Um, well, Hinox Markov, obviously first. Yeah, it's just in that valley. So that camp, that camp, which will be a fun little uh, just go around to do. Don't think I can take my horse down there. This is fine. It's Mifa. <laughs> gonna kind of sprint it until I want to say you're helpful Joey but I think it's much more helpful to just freestyle it the motorcycle you know sorry horses only have so much potential that's why I kind of rushed everything to get the motorcycle but Joey's still always the champ moral support does wonders Ooh, sunny And yeah, <laughs> such a power bike. We love it. Here it is. It's past this little archway. Now speaking of runs, yeah, of the Korok run we're recording and streaming this Saturday on Twitch at 12 Eastern. So uh, for those who didn't get the memo, yeah, it's in the description on Twitch or description here, like for the Twitch link. Uh, I'm very excited to do it though Because yeah, we have tons of the theme runs and that that one gets to use all the the, the core weapons Which never get enough highlight in this game And a fourth shot. Oh, we got them all nice <laughs> Okay, let's dust them. I Know there's the nerfs, but it still is fun It just feels powerful and that's what I care more about Oh, no stamina. I was like, ah, can't follow up. Ah. Uh oh. And just kind of spreads everything around. Not the unarmed bokos. Oh, <laughs> they just go lunging. In this case, so do we. Yeah. Now I have this moment. Okay. Again, nothing too proud of here. Nice. Okay. That deserves a small pat in the back. Woo. And then you. <laughs> Get them both in the fray. Maybe not. Maybe not.
Doing uh, kind of well with this. 61, that's actually really good. Uh-oh. Wait, wait a second. You're both archers. I didn't know that part. I mean, you didn't have to disclose that, but it would have been very helpful for me. Which is exactly why you didn't do it. I get it, but... Yep, there we go. <laughs> Get them both in the whack. Fire weapons are nice. Bye bye. Oh, and then he just burns up in the fire. Good. Well, it's something. Fire arrows are good. Low other drops, though. Love how it's like a giant skull camp, but they're not even in the skull. They're just partying outside of it. For more outdoorsy people. And of course, they had the, the pebble guards. Truly the best. It's the best defense because they're just they're so cute I don't want to kill them, and that's why they think it's good. Sadly, my mission is more important. Where am I going? Here. No? Okay. I know there's like a drill shaft and a chest around here. I don't need an extra one though, because I like hoarding them. But that's the one that we use for the, the drill shaft run. Because there's only one respawnable drill shaft in the game, and we needed a lot of them. Um, but an alternate way to get something to respawn, like a weapon in a chest, is if you simply just drag that chest very far in the map. So like, there's like a drill shaft chest around here. If you drag it all the way over here and then open it here, you get the drill shaft, and if you warp back here, the chest is still there. It's, it's because this area is unloaded if you go so far. And if you walk it with the chest somewhere very far, um, you open the chest, but it doesn't set the proper save flag that says that it's been opened before. So technically, you can keep opening it that way. We did it in the drill shaft video. Uh, it was very helpful to get max drill shafts because we needed that for the challenge. Okay, we got that area. There's some, there's a guy up here too with some keys. Once we take on all this, we can update the camp with, or the count with those two camps then. Which it's around, right? <laughs> also, I like how, how the wind makes my hat stand up straight. Got like a full cone head now, which makes sense. That's how physics work. Oh, is that a blood moon? It is. Nice. Okay. Well, for those who don't know already, uh, I guess you'll see how we do the skips. It's 11.40 right now. Um, one second. I will really quickly pin where we have to be. It's apparently right there, the enemies that we have to kill. Um, basically, I have to wait till 11.55. And then we save the game, let the blood moon happen, but then quickly quit the game and reload back into it. 150. Oh, I'm still. Yep. 155. Save our game right there. <laughs> came just at the right time. Well, it's the right time to have this calamity blocked again. Oh no, Blood Moon. See, it's still the first Blood Moon cutscene still. Like, <laughs> that's how you know it hasn't happened before. The first one starts slower in different dialogue. But okay, we close it. Start. Sorry, update. A lot of times I don't even play my Switch in between these weekly streams, so it's like literally the same. Uh, well, like the game will still be up, so like like today when I loaded my Switch, it's like, oh yeah, it, it, the game was still running from last week, um, just with the Switch off. Okay, we do that. Hence why I haven't done an update, because I haven't played any online games. Breath of the Wild isn't online, so. But yeah, now, uh, yeah, it should work. And basically, if we mess up the skip, we'll just have to reload a previous save. So the only way we can mess it up is by saving after the Blood Moon, which obviously we didn't do. So everything's fine. But all right, see, everything's calm. Everything's cool and collected. Because it is 12.05 and there is no moon. Next in the menu is just to find where this enemy is. Is it, are they in a cave? 
Huh? Wait, there's a cave. What the? What? <laughs> this doesn't look very familiar. Uh, I didn't know there's a... <laughs> there's a... There's a gem cave with a Bacalbin guarding it? I guess so. <laughs> I was not made aware of that. Interesting. Bye bye. Oh, and then yeah, yeah actually the sword. Oop. Are you gonna come for me? Or what is gonna be a battle of? Okay. <laughs> Shield battle. Die, Octor or keys. <laughs> Octor. Don't need that. It wasn't too aware of the cave before, so. It was interesting. Now let's fight the camp. I don't care if it's nighttime, we, we charge in. Oh, <laughs> wait, we actually got him like, <laughs> I thought we messed it up, but I somehow I still managed to get him just fine. I don't care if they all see me though. <laughs> Come on, hey, when the master cycle hits, it does no damage. Just about, oh, gold hits can be a problem though. Love we don't even have a full attack buff right now. It's literally just been a level one. We can switch that up though. I could use it. Even just that, three shots almost to half. Go back in there for more. Yep. There we go. Do a little sweeping run and with that stamina regain, more death opportunity. Okay. For the guy who whacks me. Oh, that's a spear one. Whoa. <laughs> Can't little spear bokos mess me up. There we go. And just one more, just a body shot. That got very close. Oh, whoa, 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 I didn't even see you. Oh, Keese blocked it. Keese is your shield. Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go in between the blasts. Oh, <laughs> he copped out too early. He could have actually had a chance. I was being a little risky there. Okay, just don't get hit. I just hate when there's so many bow guys. There's not an easy solution. The solution is don't get hit. Not my preferred solution. We're gonna burn the bat. Yeah, I'm just gonna burn you like that. Yeah, just <laughs> just die in the fire. I don't care. <laughs> just on the tip of my arrow. Like that's all we needed. Okay. Sorry, that was fun. I, I never killed a bat just using the fire of my arrow before. Whoa. Amber grass, yeah! <laughs> I love the amber grass here. I love if I can just get ambers in like the death mountain grass. Why? Because why not? More? More amber, please? <laughs> One or two more. Uh, uh, please. <laughs> there we go, two ambers. Okay. Don't know why there's ambers in this field, but there is. Who designed that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this put it as an Easter egg. Didn't expect people to actually find it. But we always do. No. We well, just did a little twirl. <laughs> Please be nicer. <laughs> Please, for both of our sakes here. I think we got all the bats, though. So. Looking good? Feeling good. And what is our full reward? Banana gem. Much better than the amber grass. That should be it for the keys. Amber infused grass, I know. So nice. How fast can you max your inventory just by it? Or max out your ambers just by chopping down the amber grass? Funny, we got two and one for that one. That was kind of interesting. Please, one more. I'll, I'll give it like three more twirls here. Sunshroom, sure. Come on, please. One more amber. 
There we go. Yeah, amber grass. Woo. Okay. Let's see how many we got on the count. Goron's trying to use amber as fertilizer? Yeah, you know? They <laughs> thought they can really grow something there. But I think rocks are more in their diet anyways. I don't know. Maybe the grass is just like a, a cash crop. You never know. Um, <laughs> okay, well... We got those guys, right? Um, we killed the keys there? I will have to review the footage. Uh, I'll do that for the stream, too. Sorry. I'm pretty sure we killed the keys there, but I'll, I'll have to w wind back to make sure. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 there. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 32. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually kind of a lot just for one thing. Okay. Let's uh let's mark that on. But yeah, pretty much clears out everything there. Uh we could go more west, actually, maybe clear out these hills. There's a lot of loose stuff, but really rack up the count. I know that's a modest test of strength, so we got to do that too. As long as you do like one shrine per stream, that'll be nice. One or two. Um, 26, 19, 20, 24, 50, 51. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, let's just keep heading west then. Because there'll be a lot of stuff there. I'm just kind of clearing out stuff as we go. Lanero's cleared. Doing a lot of that lower Elden stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what region we're going to go for next. I know next year we're definitely going to dedicate to that to like a soul area. So I might do either jungle. I might do desert. Uh, I feel like those might... Either one of those two might be a good next option. Should we do a desert stream next? Or should we do a jungle stream next? Hmm. Alternatively, there's also like snowy mountains like Kibra. Most plants waiting maybe a little bit? I'm not too sure. If you have any suggestions of where, where we should go next, uh, I'll be open. Because there's really a few different ways we could do this after the stream. For this stream, we'll just keep just going whatever. I don't have a full plan. I'm just kind of going off. But I do like doing themed region streams, too. Okay. <laughs> the surfing hills for pretty neat. Desert. Okay, a lot of people for desert. That could be a fun one. Oh. All right, that's... Uh, Person letting you know the shield salesman. <laughs> Getting scared by a choo choo of all things. All right. So these hills, it's it's a lot of weak stuff. Um choo choos, some whiz robes, even some cobblins and whatnot. Um I feel like the best way to do this will be to mark stuff on our map though. So as you see, we did some stuff in the lower reaches. Uh obviously that's good. So it's really these guys. I feel like for this, the only good way to do it is to literally just kind of mark it off quickly. Because, okay. Third one. So our system is uh, one for sword, two enemies is bow, three enemies is shield, all the way to nine or more with a gem. Because it's just right in order. Um, that. So there's a lot of loose packs. These are all peblets, octoroks, some stall enemies. It's kind of a weird region. Three enemies there. Uh, okay, let's go for the lower bits. Then for these slightly higher bits, there's uh, two there. A lot of these are peblets, so there's going to be a lot of fun peblet killing. Which peblet killing is never so fun, because I hate killing them, because I like the enemies a lot. But, oh well. <laughs> Three enemies by this trifecta of trees. How perfect. Um, oh. Two enemies, and then there's like two enemies. We'll just start with this bunch. How about that? Because that will be uh, a decent little bit. And then there's one more right here. Okay. So just in this coastline, there's all these enemies. Uh, swords one, a bows two, a shields three. So it's a lot of loose stuff. And I guess we'll just kind of harp down the numbers. For this specifically, I'm, I feel like maybe I should just... I should play with the HUD, just because it'll be easy, so I don't have to keep going back to my map. It's like one of the few exceptions. Oh wow! Uh, <laughs> right, this is what Breath of the Wild looks like normally. I, 
I, I couldn't tell you the last time I played with us. Having the minimap feels so weird. Also, the bike can... Oh my god, there's so much on screen. I I'm so used to not having this HUD. This is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the next Zelda comes out. I'm not playing with this HUD. I, I love it without. But it's sad that certain features, accessibility features, are not on it. Like, I don't know. It would be nice to know the charges. Uh, even if there's, like, a limited HUD. So, like, no minimap, but it still is, like, champion ability charges. Uh, I don't even need, like, a temperature wheel or anything. You know, it's, it's all self-explanatory. So we got that guy. Thank you, Kevin, for the $2. I appreciate it. And definitely when you have a HUD, you pay more attention to, more attention to the mini-map sometimes than what's around you. Which is why I avoid it. A decent bet. Oh, baseball? Ah, he was a little too high there. Ow. Okay. Do it once more. Wait. A little too early. I wouldn't do a baseball. A little too early. A little too... I don't even know. One more. The trajectory isn't always right. That, that's fine. <laughs> I should glitch to have an auto attack? I'm not sure what that means. Oh, squirrel. Damn it. Not that I should be hurting the schools anyways. But it was right at me. So what's that over there? Is that just a tree? Okay. This area is neat. It's just like a it's like a huge forest with giant trees right outside like Hyrule Castle. And they just kind of made these trees their home. The monsters. Yeah, again, a very unique area. You can turn off certain parts of it, temperature, sound, weather. I really wish you could. That'd be very nice. Because sadly, it's just normal HUD in Pro. But then again, like, what would I have personally? I don't know. I guess the weather cycle's nice, but I would be fine with just having that in the, uh, in the menu. The sound thing is, like, pretty much necessary, you know? More of an accessibility thing, but I feel like you can already hear things pretty well. For most players. Honestly, yeah, like, it's not even that I want, like, more stuff in my HUD. It's just I want some of these things available, uh, you know, not on the screen itself. Like, as long as I have an alternate way to find the champion abilities, that'll be nice. Okay. <laughs> Again, I'm just kind of doing all this at once and then going from there. So we'll do the sword and then we'll mark off everything we got. Whoop. The best written champion, in my opinion. I feel like R Revali has good development. Because, um, you know, he's the cocky and arrogant one. And the one that uh, obviously has conflict with the hero. But I feel like that's what makes him interesting, you know? Not every character should exist to be just a pure support to the character. And to kind of have, like, you know, that opposite side to the hero of, you know, the ego of one shown through a character is pretty interesting. At least for the sense of this, where everyone else in the game is more supportive. For the most part. So yeah, I like Revali a lot. And then Rebosa is just like the badass one, so... Can't go wrong with her. One. Two. There's a skull in the lake. Skull lake, but not skull lake. Okay, after this one, I'm gonna check a map. Mm. Or I'll just do it now. Okay. What do we got? We have... Hmm. Hmm. 
All right, shields were three, weren't they? So the Octorok, Meteor, that guy. There's a Stalazelfos. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so beyond that, we'll have to do this at nights because there's just going to be a lot of annoying stuff. We got the Peblet. We got the Peblet Circle, right? And we got those two. And then we got those two. Or that one. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> Sorry. As I do this, we're making it work. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, alone, twelve. Okay. So we just got twelve. Uh, we mark off all of them but one. So this area is weird. Uh, <laughs> We'll have to get that last one. So, update the count by 12. 63. Okay. <laughs> ah. What's my death goal for the whole run? I can even say under 40. You know what? Uh, it's been a long time since we even hit 30. Because, you know, once we got that upgrade in Mipha's Grace, that really helped. Even just Champion's Belt itself, we did the entire thing deathless, which was very nice. I gotta check that hill once more. Make sure we got all three on that. Or, oh yeah, it was the three inside. That's what it was. It wasn't a hill. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna turn off my pro HUD because I realized that I... <laughs> it's actually throwing me off a bit because I'm just so not used to it. I'm relying too much on that in real time rather than kind of loosely remembering. There we go. <laughs> That's so much better. Favorite Divine Beast is Naboris because I really appreciate, uh, oh, there's a lot more to it besides just one main area. There's like the whole upper area. There's like the hidden neck chamber. I think Thunderblight's a good fight. You know, as much as I, uh, <laughs> struggle with him at, at times. Yeah, Thunderblight is a very well-made fight. So I do appreciate that. And yeah, Naboris will be my, always be my favorite Divine Beast. Yeah, I guess we'll see where they'll stack <laughs> in accordance to the new Zelda dungeon soon. And what sort of formula they're going for. There we go. Good night. Um, and yeah, we can keep making our way up then. It's mainly this area that's weird. Uh, I know on the other side of like the trees, there is more like normal enemies like bacoblins and such. Which are a bit more fun to fight, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, there we go. What? Is there really other ones? <laughs> Yep. Of course, the dynamic spawn happened right there. Whoop. Oh, wow. Yeah, nice. Nice one. That was a very close shot. Mm. Alternate question, what Divine Beast is the strongest? Um, I mean, I feel like the right answer is Meadow, because it can literally fly around. You know, there's nothing stopping Meadow. Uh, maybe Guardian Skywatchers. I think the only reason why I'm able to answer that question is because of uh, Age of Calamity. There's the sections where you get a pile of the beasts, and those are always fun. But yeah, doing the metal stuff was awesome because you can literally just fly around Hyrule and do it. Um, so that was pretty cool. And yeah, there was Guardian Skywatchers that came after you too, which was <laughs> made sense. It is the counter to that beast, technically. Oh, Korok in the thingy. That's a funny one. Nothing stopping Meadow except Link. <laughs> yeah, imagine if these things could be fully unhinged, you know? Like, that's a scary thought. Also, are these dynamically spawned ones, or what are we looking at here? So this is a very interesting area, because it deals with a lot of elemental stuff. Uh, nope, those are uh, statically spawned ice keys, which I guess just makes sense. Uh, electric, yeah. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Sorry, I'm just like noticing now that, uh, yeah, there's ice stuff here, and then electric stuff here, and then normal keys, and then fire stuff there. I thought it was almost gonna be like a Triforce thing with like red enemies here, uh, there's green enemies here, and then blue enemies here. So it's kind of like a Triforce, but the power or the, the wisdom and courage are swapped. Uh, that's cool. <laughs> 
But yeah, it's like the elemental weakling zone, I guess. Such an odd area, but I, I still dig it. Okay, hit him, hit him. Before any problems happen. And we're going off on our own business. Is that a blizzard? It is a blizzard rod, okay. I will greatly take that. Don't even need a modifier. It's good in its own light. Hey, sorry, that's just cool that, uh... Literally has the Triforce going on here. Kill the shock enemies. Especially the way these trees are just battering from the sides. Like, super tall and then just, uh... Yeah, cracked on the middle. Nice. I didn't see that final ice keys though. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry, there's just so many enemies here, it's hard to even keep track. I'm just gonna keep kind of killing and uh go for it. Yeah. Oh, running back to his buddy. I guess he's kind of sniffing them out though. So yeah, that's another one I gotta kill. Little static ones that just stay there. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> In the area, there's a bunch of static keys and choo choos because the elemental wizard robes. It makes total sense. Because, yeah, they can technically sp spawn like keys and stuff too. Which, obviously, they're not spawn. They're just static enemies, but it's fitting in the theme, especially with their capabilities. Like, if they can spawn monsters in combat, it's like, you know, it makes sense for them to put extra ones here. Get those headshots. Yeah. And a good place to farm the elemental rods. The best tier of each. And bomb arrows, okay. Really such a just vast area. One of these loose guys get tripped up in the elementals. You can't have one consistent defensive buff against them because there's always different types. Oh, that's a Korok, okay. <laughs> well, that I didn't know. He's have a headshot spot. Uh, the choo choos, yeah, they're eyeball. It's very small because it's just an eyeball, but it is there. <laughs> okay, stop flying up, please. Rock throw. Damn it. Get him. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty risky, but we were safe. I meant to say choo choos. No, that's fair. Sorry. <laughs> I get tripped up too. I mean, as you've noticed, I I definitely trip over my wards a lot. Also, big keys cave. Wow, okay. It's a party. <laughs> Good thing I was invited. If I wasn't, I was, clearly. Why am I here then? Yeah, this rock is, uh, or tree stump is very tall. Nice. Just for a flint. I wonder what this area was like before the destruction. But I guess these ruins were pretty old. It's a nature ruin after all. And I assumed that there was gonna be a croc, so thank you. <laughs> for really uh, validating my curiosity. <laughs> what could they do if I weren't invited anyway? I know, <laughs> like fly into me very slowly? Uh, not a great plan, guys. This is a pretty cool area though. Again, for this reason, I don't go to it a lot, because it's just... I chalk it up usually as a... Oh, you know. Some... Uh, Choo-choos, keys, stall enemies, uh, whiz robes. Not, not the most fun enemies to fight. And there's not too much besides this, but... I guess the loot is pretty good. I shouldn't, I shouldn't neg neglect this area as much. It's pretty unique. Oh, Ruby that time. It's a fitting reward. I forgot what we got from the other one, but the the shock one was bomb arrows, so. Figured that would be like a topaz, but no. Yeah, sapphire. <laughs> Alright, we did pretty good. Let's really quick, uh. Yeah, just see what we got. <laughs> Good night, you'll see me on Saturday. Awesome. Yeah, see you then. 
Yeah, the Quark one will be awesome. Okay, yeah, in that pet, there was only four actual keys, but I guess, uh, yeah, maybe there was dynamics in there. Hmm. That seems a little odd because there's, oh, wait, no, that was the wrong one. Okay. Wait, was it? No, what? no, it wasn't. Why were there so many keys in that one thing? That doesn't seem right. There was like eight different keys in that one party house. <sighs> Either way, let's cross off the stuff we know we did kill. And we know we did kill three. Oh wait, unless they're spawned on top of each other. It's a rare occurrence, but it could be one of the few times that they're actually spawned on top of each other on different elevations. I feel like there was more than, th yeah, more than that many keys. Is there a way to properly check that on the object map? I don't know. Hmm. Because I know so, there was like a few instances where like octo balloons were stacked, stocked on top of each other. Um, for now, we'll mark it as four. Yeah, there's some real funnies. Seven. Because it could have been some of those packs spawning multiple, but it counts as one. I'm not too sure. That's something I haven't seen before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in total. And we know we killed these. Um, 16 and 17. I know I got you two. The electric keys. Um, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. I don't think I got the third keys, but we'll check. So, so 20 then. If we got more, yeah, we'll check those further reaches as well. So out of the things I highlighted, it's 20. Um, can't wait for stats of the kingdom. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun to break down the next game. First priority is just, you know, having fun with the game. And naturally, I'll wind up wanting to know more and more about the game. So that'll come up. <laughs> The ice stuff was over there, the fire was the other way. It's gonna be a bit odd. I remember killing two ice keys. I, I don't know if the third one died. Oh, the fox was trying to take a nap. Sorry, fox. Nothing here, um, this was the ice area. If we reload the save, we should be able to reset the enemy positions. Let's do that. And yeah, first uh, playthrough stream for Tears is ready up. It's on the live tab. You can find it. We scheduled it months in advance, but I think that's fine. We've been posting slight things there too, just for the funny. Um, okay, so it's 320, so we should still be able to see stuff. Um, now, according to this, there should be a key like here, here, and here. So if it's not there, then it should be killed. Yeah, this is probably one of the weirder areas. Oh. It wasn't. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay, now the 20 count is accurate. Um, next that we can check is going to be the fire, guys. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the elemental zone then. Right? Yeah, because the rest is... Yeah, we're dealing with other enemies here. And then stone pebbles. Yeah. I guess there's another lightning sort of thing. Such a weird area. <laughs> Okay, three fire uh, keys up there. So we'll do the three fire keys. And then uh, just kind of keep looping. <laughs> and for those wondering about the run, all the details in the description as always. Have you gone to Lanero Tower? There's a mysterious, perfectly round hull that, is n that does nothing. Yeah, um, it's really odd. We were there earlier today, and yeah, it's like one of those holes that's usually used for like Korok seeds, but it was just an area where an enemy's standing by it, and it does nothing. I, I don't know why it's there, it's just there. Maybe it's their like fighting arena or something like that, because there's a bunch of enemies, who knows. It's, it's one of those very peculiar kind of things in the game, for sure. Also, um, so for those 
keys. There's going to be one that's like uh, those three fire keys. I want to make sure we got them. One, two, and three. I'm going to make a little fire, though, because it's getting a little too bright. There we go. Um, we'll go to nighttime. So we'll check those, and then, yeah, just kind of keep up that loop, you know? Some stall enemies. Oh, there's a talus nearby. That could be kind of fun. Aha. <laughs> they look like they're under the map. Huh? No. I guess we just missed somehow. He is under the map. What are you doing under there? Hey, get out from under the map. Uh, I guess that works. <laughs> that was a bit sucky. Um, <laughs> you really can't hurt him like that. Good thing it wasn't like a shock one. Those are a tad more fatal. I couldn't tell you fully if there was a third. I don't know. Is it under the map? Who knows? Uh, <laughs> it should be behind here, though. It bombs could have worked, too. I just felt with the, the blast. Uh-oh. We're slaying right into him. Nice. Okay. That was a very odd glitch. Usually when they wake up, it's like, they woke up because of my presence, but they don't really detect me right away. Besides that one. <laughs> I mean, we were very close. His head went launching. That was kind of great. The quark puzzle we don't need. I feel like the move right now is just killing a couple things, then marking them off, then seeing and killing more. This has got to be the most tedious area for this run, I think. I guess getting all the loose parts is fun. It won't be as evident as like the big increase with like the Bacoblin parts. Like these, we have a bunch. 205 of the keys is st still pretty decent for the wings. And these choo-choo parts, like in the 200s for that, uh, 233. Um, yeah, even like 532 Lizzle Talons. Wow. 320 of the horns. Yeah. <laughs> Love seeing the numbers increase. We'll, we'll eventually, or maybe we'll hit the, the max for horns. Definitely for fangs, though. We're at 677. That could be interesting. <laughs> Have we killed all the Lynels? I didn't want to, because if I kill all the Lynels, that means I can't get Lynel weapons again. So we've been pacing them out. We probably have, like, half of them dead, though. Wow, I almost messed up. That was gonna happen. All right, <laughs> go for it. More balloons we can mess with later. Oh, and a talus that can mess with me. Wait, are you what I think you are? You are. Oh, we let the talus take care of you. Come here, talus. Ah, <laughs> got a little spooked. Wait, is that too bright? What are you guys doing? Forming a little party, I see. Don't waste all my arrow. Oh. Damn it. I don't want to waste everything against these. I'm just spinning a circle. <laughs> Guess they have their own ranged army over here. Whoa. I didn't expect that. Really didn't. They got their own troops. Whoa. Yes. Okay. Now you're useless. We're going to climb you. Don't smack me. Oh, good. Um, hammer weapons, we don't. Drill shafts don't count. Uh, whoa! Yes! What if we jump at the right time? Maybe it voids the shake off? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Feeling that maybe if we jumped, he would not really detect me being on him. What if he stasis the rock arm that he throws at us? Is that is that a thing? It's not. Okay. Whoop. 
Sadly, that would have been cool. Because, like, what if it gets stasis, the thing that he throws at us, and then, like, launch it back at him? Just, like, bust apart his body. Uh, I never tried, but I'm glad I at least had the thought. A diamond from him? Oh. <laughs> a lot of ambers and a diamond. That's a kind of a funny drop. Your three always must have weapons. A phrenic or golden bow for claw hunting and all one shot enemies. Okay, yeah. Uh, hammer weapons for ores and crates, especially with the good durability. Uh, weak spear for stall and keyses. Yeah, I mean, that's all very fair. It's it's good to think of those utility purposes. Um, even for me, like, I'll, I'll, I'll personally add, like, a flame weapon so I can always light a campfire because as long as I have, like, a fire sword or, you know, any of those weapons. It can light, light any fire without using any durability. So no f flame arrows or anything. Which is always nice. I totally agree on the hammer weapon. Uh, Master Sword works late game for me personally. Um, other things though, like... Yeah, even iron sledgehammers work very well. Or like axes too. Because they can get a lot of the job done. But it's always good to have those utility weapons in this game. And a spear, definitely. Uh, for long range stuff. Me personally, I've been mainly, well, especially in challenge runs, uh, using spears a lot for that use, but honestly, for taking down long range stuff like Keys, uh, bombs have been my go-to method, so everyone has their own, which is what makes it cool. Okay, now let's see exactly what we, oh, after this kill. These kills, rather. I, I don't want to use up more of that. Lizzle bow against a Lizzle? It's only fair. Oh, that's how we messed it. <laughs> when you wish you had a quick draw. But you can be nice. I don't mind using extra durability with jump attacks. It, it's, it's fine. <laughs> durability isn't a problem when you have a 60 damage sword that regens every 10 minutes and lasts forever. Okay, let's see where we are. I didn't even notice that we were uh, clearing this stuff out. Oh, there's three enemies here? Where's the third? They're between the trees. Pebble it, okay. Yeah, see, they're so hidden. Ow! That was too close. All right, now let's see what we fully got. So, beyond that. There's no best way to do this. I'm just kind of doing it. So, all right, we, we killed these three things for sure. So three. Mm. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Damn it. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Uh, fourteen. I guess we have to check the rest. That's just all my confident. I know I killed. We didn't mess it up. That brings it up to 98. Okay. Sorry, I got to check more individually uh, as we go with this. Map again. Okay, we did the three that were here. That, that's a for certain. Um, now I feel like my pins will be a bit better. So we got the two pin, the two pin, the two pin, the one pin. Uh, the two pin should be there and another two pin there. <laughs> so I'm doing it like, yeah, I have the map up right now. I don't know what to have up. So one enemy, one enemy, and two enemies, okay. We're like more than halfway done with this region, which is good. Getting all these hills, finally. The hills are far from the highlight of this. But yeah, after that, it'll be this whole kind of loop cleared. And then it'll just be like this region, which is actual normal enemies to fight. So that's good. That's very good. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. 
Killing every enemy in the Age of Calamity sounds like it will take a long time. <laughs> Especially considering everything was like spawns in as there still like keeps open and whatnot. I don't think that would be very possible. But I guess the Age of Calamity is satisfying because you really got to kill a lot in a short time. So that's one big chunk of the appeal for me. <laughs> who doesn't like to slaughter the world? So was it those two? Um. It was a stone pebblet and a stalbic cobbler. So there's a pebblet. It wasn't the keys. Keys are dynamic because there's a lot of different dynamic keys in here. And of course, it was right there. <laughs> Could have made it a dynamic zone, but I feel like just to control the spawns, yeah. They're just in odd spaces instead. Okay. Next, there's some two groups. Oh. Spin first. Don't get shot. Thank you. And the first group should be right here. Yep. Oh, ow. I was right, but they got the last lap anyways. Okay. Well, I guess Mifa can regen faster. As long as you kill them uh, when they're not currently have the shocking effect. They won't shock you upon death. One, two, three, four for the count. Did I kill these guys? I may have. Nope. These pebbles just so perfectly tucked away and camouflaged. <laughs> you know what I said about the choo-choos earlier and them being difficult? We'll talk about the actual camouflaging enemies. Maybe stasis could help. Yep. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah, honestly, that really picks them out. There we go. So all of them are dead. Um, let's see what that was. Stone Peblet. Peblet. Choo 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 choo. Peblet. Boko. Six more enemies are dead. Sorry, let me put that in the map. Uh, <laughs> Six. Awesome. Brings it up to 2704. Nice. We started today with uh, what? Um, I always keep it in the description. We start today with 2527. So we are pretty close to 200 kills today. Which uh, our average is in the low 200s. And we're uh, only 2 hours and 45 minutes into the stream. So we'll still have a lot more time for other things after this. Uh, <laughs> it was pretty good though. Having a lot of uh, mobility to go around to do this is very helpful. I'm just glad these hills are almost cleared. <laughs> That's worth celebrating in its own night. Also in terms of after the stream, because we'll go for probably a little more than an hour. Um, but after the stream, I'm pretty sure my friend plans on streaming. Uh, he's doing a Guardian run of Breath of the Wild. Not a normal one. Uh, it's a Guardian run where every enemy in the world is also a Guardian. So it's a fun modded playthrough. So we might have to check that out afterwards. Maybe do a little raid. And I'll probably stay there for a bit too. Because... His stuff is very fun. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't even need to kill him. I just wanted to. And I'm wasting my stuff doing it. Alright, let's look more at this again. Oh, there you are. Wait. Oh, I thought it was a chest for a second after that. No. Relics of the past be like, yeah, all guardians, all fun. Okay, that is a couple more for the count. Let's check back here, though. We're getting all the awkwardness. They're almost all dead. It's neat to see some of the elemental stuff, but yeah. For the sake of this run, most of these enemies aren't supposed to be direct encounters. It's most supposed to be like, oh, I found a pebblet. The funny thing is, there wasn't even like dynamic pebblets like there are in other regions. Like, they're all just like set spawn ones. But I guess if there were dynamic enemies here, it would be a lot tougher because they don't have to figure out which ones were the real ones amongst the fakes. So I guess be thankful the way it is. It kind of have to be. We passed 500 likes. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. 600 is close, so maybe by end of day. We'll see. Oh, hi, Publet. Hmm. 
Usually when you use stasis plus on something, it's like, you know, just like an enemy and get multiple hits. But since the pebble, it's like a rock, I wonder if it works differently. Like, like come over here. Like, can I actually like launch you? Like, is that a thing? I don't see a directional symbol. <gasps> I guess you just push them back. Okay, that wasn't as uh, <laughs> fun as I was hoping for. Okay, get chapted. Thank you. <laughs> for the good loot. Hmm. I don't need you. <laughs> Debating hitting a 360 to that Octorok right now. I'm doing it. Damn it! I felt my green screen. Damn it! <laughs> I literally have to spin around in my chair to do it. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> Wait, I wonder if I can. I'm hitting the 360 whether I like it or not. Okay. Woo. Okay, now I get it. Ugh. Bink. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now to fix my green screen. It played out differently in my head. I can't do those type of trick shots. But it works out. <laughs> Girl Thumb Breaks our Immersion Part 5. Whoops. I saw it earlier that I should do a 360, and I'm like, why is someone asking that? And then I just thought back to it. And uh it played out it played out cooler in my head. Not not even cool. 360s aren't cool. It's just more so funny if you can't get it. You know? But was it actually one that we needed to kill? I I don't know. Um It looks like not. It looks like I actually just wait. <laughs> what is this? That is a stone pebble and a stone No, it just Hmm. Wait, did we get all these? Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I'm gonna take a picture of a pebblet. There we go. That is our way to do this. We, we clear the pebblets. I think we're good though. Can you see the screen in 360? <laughs> uh, a little more in 360, yeah. It did actually work, so like if you do actually manage it well, um, yeah, as soon as you do the full 360 with like the gyro, it does actually resort to pretty much where it was. So the gyro is accurate. That's more of a gyro test, I think. Go faster with the bolsa's fury. Um, I mean, pebblets are immune, so it's really just like the ch the choo choos that are out, which isn't a lot of them. Um. Yeah, because those guys just have to blow up. I really can't think of a faster way. I, I feel like my only thing I can try right now is uh, taking a picture of the pebblets and then trying to snipe them out. I'm just checking one quick area right now. Uh, there's like one little double check, like right, right here. Okay. You know, for the very ends of this. But even so, you can only have one thing active at a time anyways, so... I feel like one method is, at best, can only be slightly better than another. I know there's chests and stuff around, I just don't have all the means to pick up everything when I'm already struggling. <laughs> Yep, no, we killed him. I just kind of didn't know. But that thing's kind of cool. I, I think I do want to loot that. I forgot all about this. It's a blocked off skull camp. Can I break these eyes? I don't think so. Oh. I know I can just go through the mouth, but... That isn't a good test. No. Oh, but I had the right idea. Perfect. Oh, I can't blow it up on him. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, a little secret cave. I like this area. Whoop! Drill shaft! Yeah! 
Give me the shocks. Very nice. This one, it's only easy to see from like the other side of the river. Or there, I guess. <laughs> but typically, yeah, it's a very interesting one. It's just that. It's for those two pieces of loot. But yeah, welcome to everyone still tuning in. Uh, we're almost out of this hell region. Get some uh, normal kills done soon enough. <laughs> so that requires a bit more skill too. Why not? Okay, but now with that done, I'm going to mark off these next batch. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven enemies cleared. Okay. Yep. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Twenty-seven, ten. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the secret is cool. Yeah, I, I dig some of that stuff. It's also just like little uh, chests, like underneath some structures and like ruins in this region too. It's always cool to see, but personally, I'm always more interested in like the whole caves. Like seeing a whole cave is also awesome, especially the few I maybe haven't seen yet. I know there's got to be at least like one or two like mini caves I have not seen yet, for sure. Really milking this game dry, but that's fine. What else do you do with thousands of hours of playtime? There's an inaccessible chest in Nintendo Village near the pond. Driving your Sheikah sense of crazy? Oh no. I've heard about like some of those like uh, chests before. And I'm pretty sure every single chest now is, has like some sort of exploit to obtain it. Because like uh, people really get into like glitches, figured it out. Like people like Cleric. Uh, and I'm not sure who everyone else was that did. But yeah, stuff like that's impressive. So there's a few chests, yeah, that are like impossible. Uh, but I didn't know about the Hatena one now. New challenge, cutting every blade of grass in Hyrule. That's such an awesome challenge. Also, not me just noticing I had the pebble thing. We have like nothing here, but I I have a pebble picture apparently. Bacabla, nice. But we gotta look at these pictures. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that was just the mouth. Uh, Bacabla being chucked through the air, or no, mid animation, I don't know. The little tongue. Why do I just have a. Was, was I also doing this earlier? Like many streams ago, I forgot. Maybe. Okay. Since most of them are, are pebbles still. There they are, just on top of a rock. Okay. Get bombed. Nice. Okay. The chest had a purple rupee in it, and it was accessible once, but now it was glitched. Oh, interesting. So an update broke it. It's kind of funny you mentioned that, because, uh... Um... The only other time I can think of an update breaking something in Breath of the Wild is, uh... I don't know if you've ever seen it before, but, like, sometimes, like, when there's a NPC standing beside a horse in the game, sometimes they're, like, sideways. Like, I've seen it in a few runs before we did on streams. Uh, there's, like, one by Hateno Village that's like that a lot. Apparently, that was never a bug until the last update in Breath of the Wild. It was, it was the VR update for the Nintendo Labo. And, uh, yeah, it basically messed up something with some of those NPCs where they're just now, like, sideways. Uh... <laughs> So very interesting. Okay, it's weird that as much as there are some updates to bug fix, just uh, a couple of those bugs were left in the game and got broken by updates and never fixed. Okay, that was definitely that one. Um, according to the interactive map, it's in the corner of the pond near the cooking pots. Okay. Yeah, so it was. So it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what version it would have been achievable in, but you know, since there's been a few versions, anything happens. Okay, what am I looking at? Um, there's a stall goblin here. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> I have something marked. I can't see it. Usually means stall enemy. Okay, great. More nighttime. I earlier when I was standing up, I almost tripped over a uh, beep bop here. He's my he's my B plush. 
I have two. Uh, there's Beep Bop and Benny, because obviously me and Viv have matching ones, like always. Uh, but yeah, he doesn't really make a stream appearance ever, but Beep Bop, here he is. He's a little chunky bee. Mm. Usually he's in another room, but hey, why not? Also, I'm pretty sure the stall guy we got, he was the one I forgot to mark off earlier. Okay, <laughs> that's right. I love the, you know, totally non-confusing region we're in right now. What a great feeling. Okay, that might be the Octorok. Seems to be. Octorok, come out. No. <laughs> is this a cave? Is, is it a cave? No, that's where the two pebbles were on top. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there should be a stone pebble, so that's killed. Um, that means we did one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, not bad. And that clears out all of that. Um, we forgot to mark that off. Okay. Yeah. Wow, this has been a region for sure. <laughs> okay, now just this, and some of these are actually normal enemies. Some. <laughs> okay, let's, let's mark off those other six, and then... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I, I know it's coming up. There's seven enemies up ahead. I can't wait to get out. I can't wait. <laughs> this has definitely been the most painful part of the run. I, I, I can fully admit to that now. Yeah, also I had to say Conjol. Uh Honestly, just having like the stats of the stream in chat and like when you comment after the streams, like I've always thought that was really cool. So like uh thank you for like always posting info about the runs and like uh just compiling things to stats in terms of like, you know, what we all killed so far and like sort of like little milestones. Cause uh, it's honestly really cool just to see every stream. And I know you've been following it since the beginning, so uh it, it's been cool. So I, I just wanted to say thank you again. Uh because yeah. <laughs> Really, this run, it's, it's cool to kind of break it down that way, especially with uh, seeing how much progress we've made over the last few months. That was an interesting one. It's literally a pond and then a ice enemy. Whoop. That feels like a giant Octorok at first. Getting a little nervous. Um, but around here, there are six ice choo-choos in all groups of two. Um, so I have to mark these because, again, choo-choos are a pain. Because they only spawn when you walk right over them, and if you miss them, then you have to reload the save. Uh, so it's a, if you don't have that aware, um, you can easily miss something for a long time if you're looking. There we go. There's three packs of two. And yeah, they're not out until I physically... Go like plop. Oh, not right in it, please. <laughs> Bombs do the trick here. Yep. Pebble thing will go off a bit. That's okay. Octor Oc boss one. It's the only dynamic enemy with no boss version. I mean, choo choos, right? I mean, wait. Is there boss versions of other enemies? Well, they're always more unique. Or in terms of like higher variations, I guess. Because Octorox has a lot of different variations. Which I guess I, I appreciate that. Yep. Don't <laughs> fly into me. Thank you. Uh, okay, a little far. It's just up the hill now. There's also a pebblet. Okay. It's gotta be one of the last pebblets over there. Remember when I first was playing Breath of the Wild and I was playing on my TV in the living room because I was like 17 when it came out and didn't have my own like PC setup. Uh, my parents would definitely get annoyed when uh, the beeping sensor went off all the time when I was looking for like a shrine or a chest or whatever. Because uh, just it just kind of pierces through the mix in the TV throughout like the whole house. So like that's when I whenever I have it on I'm always thinking about that now. Oh, nice. Hence why I don't always have it on either unless I really need it. Like Trial of the Sword, it's good to find the chests. Shrine sensor I don't really need because I know where the shrines are. Um, but yeah, 
A lot of beep beeps. Okay, but that was all seven enemies here. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> no, look at that. That's pretty much good now. We just got uh, this little pebble camp there. That shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> Let's mark off the seven. Um, 323. Awesome. Um, yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five keys. Uh, and then loose pebbles. I'm not even going to do the pebbles because my sensor will pick them up. So, I mean, I'm not even going to mentally count them until I kill them. So, five keys. Uh, five keys, stall the cobblin, and then just follow the sensor for the other guys. Awesome, we're almost done. <laughs> After these few, it's uh, just the cobblins that are, you know, normal fights. But what is interesting in here? Wish we could mute the beeping. I know. Um, but it's okay. I only have it on for like another minute. We're almost through. Yeah, I'm not the, I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. It's definitely you. It's fine. I'll just use a bow shot. Okay. Now. To be convenient. There's the Bokos. You kind of just trail this path. Which makes sense because it's a closer path to where... You actually get to this area, so it starts with those enemies first, and then the annoying ones were taken down. Let us be out of this hell hole. <laughs> Nothing but babies. But I love pebblets. I think this is the only time I've encountered pebblets and I've just been exhausted of them because there's so many. That's of the stream. 196 enemies have bit the dust since the beginning of tonight's stream. That's awesome. Yeah, we're we're definitely getting just the average kill per stream up because of all the stuff we have. Even without like really rushing it too. I think that's the nice part. Just kind of casually whooping some monsters and uh, getting lots of progress. So it is a really chill time. Even when we're not doing any like crazy fights right now, it, it is still fun just being able to chat and play and uh, yeah. It's never a bad time. Say so again, thank you guys for being here, as always, because, yeah, everything we do here with the game is fun. But we go live with the run every Wednesday, um, as always. And with the run, for a lot of people who have been here, uh, thank you for pointing the newcomers in the right direction in terms of, like, the run rules and the stuff in the description, because that is appreciated, so I don't have to repeat it, too. Oh, Korok, what else trying to loot? But yeah, more every Wednesday at 6 Eastern. We'll definitely finish the playthrough before tears and uh, occasional stuff here and there too. So this weekend the Quark run, which is in the description. Gosh, we're almost through. We caught this. Please. I guess we're killing the goblins too. Just slaughter any and all things. They're all threats. I know he's close. There's like a raft there. Okay. Um, there you are. That's got to be it, right? Sensor. Nothing here, at least. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Let's kill these guys and then get an updated look. I, I can't use that on the bike. That sucks. Spin! Wow! All of them were too high. <laughs> Very disappointing. That purple rupee. Ow. Okay. Blink? <laughs> yeah, sure. Go for it. Oh. Gotta recharge. What am I doing with this? I don't know. I just, I just have it. So, we are, I guess. Because what else do you do? Okay. Sure. Okay, um, yeah, it looks like we kind of wiped the area, and that's most of it. Um, besides the lower reach, okay. So, Peblet, Peblet. 
So I want to assume, yeah, all the pebbles are dead. <laughs> that are here, at least. Um, Bacoblin, Bacoblin, Bacoblin. That should all be dead. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20? Okay, yeah. I mean, with those key spatches, I was like half of it. Is that it then? It's just the actual Bacoblins that guard it? Oh my god, are we actually almost through? 23 to 43. Oh, we gotta see this through. If it's just a couple more Bacoblins. No! Damn it! Okay, there was another Peblet. I was like, if there's one more left, it's another Peblet. We countered him already, so we'll just have to kill him. That just means he's the far out one that I had like a 50% chance I thought I'd caught. That's okay, because there's nothing else out here that's loose besides pebblets. Wait, finding new objective? What? What? <sighs> I knew how to be shy of 20. It's okay. Because everything else that wasn't a pebble, we know we got. Aha. Wait, was there a three pack here? I. Did they like, dynamically spawn or? Wait, was there a three pack of pep? Are these dynamically spawning too? That's. Does that happen when there's not much? Or is it just that spot? I couldn't tell ya. Let me look. Uh. That is a dynamic spawn. Okay. <laughs> so that's why you can't always go off the beeps. Yep, that was the dynamic pack. Same with the choo choos. <laughs> Okay, now they're dynamically spawning in there. So, if I'm being chased here, that means it's just following dynamic spawns. Okay, so this region is more dry now. Okay, that makes sense. So, notice there's set spots on this side, but dynamic spots on this side. So, that's what's going on. Because there's literally nothing dynamic on the other side. And dynamic means random, and we can't track them, because they'll just keep coming. Uh, so, just four bacoblins, and I guess we'll clear the bridge then. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm really going for that 100% completion. Yeah. It'll be well paid off. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Because I can't. They don't make good melee weapons, but it's what I have and I don't want to keep it. Maybe I should because I might rain soon. Who knows? Either way, let's just do that. Bit more bang for my buck. <laughs> no durability, free damage. Oh, they have bomb arrows too. That could have been dangerous. Almost forgot about those peskers. Are they above? Are they below? We may never know. The quark pinwheel thing. Um, oh, over there. Okay. You have fire weapon. Cute. <laughs> A lot of rods here if you really want them. I don't. Those are like one of each type. I mean, I think there's two wizard robes of each type minus uh, like one of them. But I guess some loose weapons. I'm not sure. Okay. Um. Well, that was good. Four of them, let's get that. And then the only thing here is the, the test of strength. But we already had the warp. We just warp and do it and we get the kill. Mm. There is five. Five enemies plus that, it makes nine. Okay, um, how should we go about this? I think that's a good weapon, actually. So you know what we're gonna do? Well, we're gonna save it, obviously. Go like that. One hit it over.
Boing. Oh, wait, that's a little too far. Is it still rendered in? I think it just despawned. Or did it? <laughs> well, they're definitely dead. Let's let's see if the weapon's still there. I could actually use that weapon. It's, it's a pretty nice weapon. I'm pretty sure it's a Royal Guard thing, and... I feel like that might have been a little too far, but I feel like I still saw it. Is that it? Or am I just looking at the wall? <laughs> if it didn't despawn... Wait. What? It looked like that was it, didn't it? No. As I got closer, it looked like it was there and then just went away. I couldn't tell you. Oh well. That means we just go back. Huh? Oh, I was like, wait, how, how do you get back? I'm like, oh, it, it's a different one. <laughs> we literally went so far, I didn't even recognize. Because I wasn't able to get that chest. This one I am, though. Sorry, Lionel Bow. Unneeded. What are you? Royal Guard Shield. That is actually very handy. Wish I had a higher guard, but honestly, that's fine. Um, I know that's new. I like the variety. That's the only reason why I throw out a Lionel Shield. Because... Sorry, Lionel Shield. I like all these shields way too much. <laughs> I like my variety, and I cherish it. There we go. Yep, really just zing them around. Hey, yeah, hook the platform closer first. Good call, good call. Yep, like that. How, how close can you go? You're like, oh no, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Clunk. Clunk. All right, <laughs> just cut him down. And there's the raft. I like the rafts, because you can get back up with them. Even if you're trying to do stuff down here. Oh, I guess not in the water. Oh, I was trying to do the ele- Oh, wait. Ah. It's literally getting stuck. What? Wait, can the raft make it through? Please, raft, do your thing. Ah. <laughs> we have our like, own, like, hermit bridge right here. This wasn't the ideal thing. Okay, uh, a little jittery. Can we gale? No, it's it's so jittery we can't. <laughs> uh, yeah, we weren't supposed to be able to do this now. What if we ballooned it? We're really just breaking the game now. Yeah, why not? Uh, I'm gonna clip into the bridge, I swear. <laughs> Who let me have control in this game? It's the enemies for enabling me to keep playing and doing stupid stuff. <laughs> Okay, I just want out now. Please. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm just trying to make an elevator up just to like, I don't know, for the funnies. Yeah, it's, it's seen better days, that's for sure. Plink. Victory arrow. Like a little flight. Okay, what do we all get? Um, kills, kills, kills. Four, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so let's we'll just do 14 for now. Uh, <laughs> 43, 53, 6, 7, 57, 27, 57. Nice. Um, okay, yeah, I, I assume we can. Hmm. We can always pass in a loop around too, but I feel like I might as well. Because there's a Guardian Stalker, there's a Stalnox, there's a Skywatcher if it flies close. There's a, a, another Stalker and a Bridge. Okay, you know, let's do this. Let's kill some Guardians. We need to kill actual enemies this time. <laughs> Which, there's a lot of methods. Actually, first let's make it night so we can get... Or we can't make a night because it's raining. Maybe the rain will let up soon because we need to kill out Stalnox. Right. Um, I have a plan. I have a weapon saved specifically for this type of action. Wind Cleaver. And with a nice wind blast. Fairy. Bye bye, Royal Shield. Never mind. I was trying to get all the legs. 
Ah, come on. I know I can multi-break all the legs if I do it well enough. Somehow we dodged that. Okay. I was just talking about how I like, like my royal shield earlier and we lost it all. Tree. <laughs> okay. That <laughs> does something. It's just satisfying to get the legs this way. Get more. It's not as easy as it looks. There we go. We clear his badly damage, that's fine. I know you can get all six at once. I just don't know exactly how. Woo! <laughs> that's kind of fun. Let's do one more big one. Come on, get more legs. It was not as satisfying as I was hoping. <laughs> okay. One day I do want to get it. I know it's possible, I never have. But there's a specific angle where you can get all six legs, break them all at once, and it literally makes the Guardian fly. Because he loses all legs at once. Oh. Yeah, I'm behind the tree now. But oh well. We lost a lot today. <laughs> you know, it's weird, no panic moons have happened this playthrough. I'm not saying that because I want to jinx it. I'm just saying because that's kind of interesting. Usually panic moons, uh, I mean, they are pretty rare, but they can happen, but they just haven't happened to us. So nice. Again, no need to jinx it. <laughs> Tree MVP. Yeah, I want to just block that shot. <laughs> Almost fell on top of me too, but either way, I'd rather get hit by a tree than a, a beam. It's a good work, Tree. Maybe I'll feed you, uh, what do trees eat later? I'll feed you a sunlight later. Oop. <laughs> the master cycle didn't like my bad joke. Um, yeah. Hey, Cinnamon Sugar, thank you for the $2. Of course, I love your videos. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, okay, maybe it's, I think he spawns here. Wait. Where, where's the thing? Haven't had a panic moon since he started doing the same run either. Uh, surprised as well. Oh, very cool. How's that run going for you? But yeah, the panic moon, honestly, it's only happened a few times over the thousands of hours I've played the game, so it is pretty rare. I feel like it's rare on the Wii U version of the game, just because this is the memory limits. I'm not too sure, though. That's just what I heard. I don't play it on Wii U, so. And on PC, I had to extend memory mod, even though it uses the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild. Shooting star. Oh, don't waste all my... There we go. <laughs> and it kills him. Nice. What mod do I like the most? I mean, I've only really done a few mods and... Well, between Second Wind and Relics, they both add a lot of different things to the game. With Second Wind adding a lot more things that make Breath of the Wild more expansive and Relics of the Past just being a cool combat overall. So it's hard to compare for that reason and I really appreciate the effort that went to them both. Um, I have two giant boomerangs now. Okay, I don't need the damage one. I don't need a long throw. I don't need a long throw. I'll, I'll, I'll take the boomerang. <laughs> okay. Um, in terms of mods, you can check out some smaller projects have been really cool. Like, uh, I think I really like the Lost Records DLC that Wake Mutero did the most um, out of like the smaller mod projects. And by smaller, I mean like not full game overhauls. So that was really cool because the Lost Records DLC was literally just uh, like, it was basically Skyview Temple from Skyward Sword in Breath of the Wild. And with some, uh, you know, creative Breath of the Wild twists and like enemy rooms and stuff like that. Uh, so it was very cool and a cool boss. Guess we're just flipping around this guardian. Nice. Yeah, we do big damage here. We don't play around. <laughs> it's too busted. It's just way too busted. We didn't really kill many guardians in the playthrough, besides the loose guys. Center hollow guys come later. Wait, what does that make us for the count for here? Um, there was three. 
Um, oh yeah, the Sky Watcher needs to come around. That's kind of an annoying one, because the Sky Watcher spawns are technically outside the castle, um, but they fly into the castle and back. So, you can count them as either a castle enemy or just an outside enemy. For the Royal Guard run, we count them as outside enemies, because I... I totally forgot about that anyways, but their natural spawn location is here, so... Okay. <laughs> Your computer struggles, second wind, you got a lot of panic moons. Yeah, especially, yeah, the mods, uh, you get more panic moons, even with, like, extended memory. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um, I think I can hit the eye shot. I can't see my stamina from here. Okay, we will have to eat another stamina food in order to make this shot. Because it will be helpful. Um... Yes, okay. <laughs> Just slide down to me. Yep, boink. Oh, not right on me. Or actually, yeah, right on me. Thank you. <laughs> that was good. Easy one to mess up, but we didn't. And yeah, Galaxy Falcon, that's a that's a good description. They're two totally separate mods, so which one did I enjoy more personally? I, I couldn't really tell. Like, I feel like I have a natural bias towards Relics of the Past, because one was my first Breath of the Wild mod ever. Uh, and that was just a total boss, like, playing that. And two, I also helped develop for it. So, um, yeah. I think both those reasons. I, I do love the project a lot. Also love Second Wind, and I can't wait for more uh, updates on that. Which I think that won't be for a while, but, you know, rather wait for a quality thing. And everything in Second Wind is very just well made. And uh, from what I know about the new update, I'm very excited. Is that like a wooden bow? Or is that a forest? No, it's not a forest dweller bow. It's a wooden bow. Mm, I think I could use that. Royal Guard bows are really nice. I, I hate the low durability, but... Um, yeah, it's got much faster uh, draw speed. The arrow fly speed's faster. Um, obviously, good damage. And just, like, the the amount of uh, time between shots is reduced with this bow, too. It's got, like, a lot of weird little stat increases that make it better than other bows. Um, which I feel like I want to reload that one, but I can't. It's nice with quick shot, because it does really rapid fire the bow. But even as is, it's like, like this is without quick shot a bow doing this, mind you. There's just a natural quick shot that Royal Guard bow has, and also the, the time between shots is, uh, you know, a lot lower too. It's like that longer draw time. You notice after I fire the bow, there's more downtime between when I can fire the next one. For the Royal Guard bow specifically, and it's the only bow in the game like this. You can just queue up an arrow faster. So it's very unique. Um, and then, yeah, the, also the range is slightly better, too, I believe. Revive Not as good as, like, Rito bows. But yeah, just really unique. I'm going to reload that save, because obviously I'm not keeping that. Um, <laughs> yeah, Royal Garbo is very interesting. Sucks for the low durability, though. But, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine enemies, but they're some tougher ones. Totally justified. I'll have to blow up those Octo balloons, though, to count it. 57 to 66. Doesn't Royal Guard Bow have the highest base single arrow damage? I think that's right too. Yeah, 58. Um, yeah, that should be the highest because I can't really think of anything close to that. Even like Ancient Bow is only like 44. And this, well, obviously modifiers. I'm not sure the modifier range for this one, but yeah, you can get some pretty good stuff. Okay. Well, they're all dead. Obviously, you will respawn. Actually, I do want to try something out. If we load that. Ugh. I'm going to try to make another elevator, <laughs> but actually work it. Did I do Eventide yet? I did not. Um, we're saving it for its own stream. I think next year we'll probably do the desert, because that's what we kind of decided on. Okay, so for this platform, I just want to try something that's kind of funny. Multi-shot's great for that. 
Yeah, so we figured this out on the last stream. I shared it to my Twitter also over the weekend. <laughs> a lot of people did not know about it. Okay, so you can't gale like that, but... Oh, not like that either. It's hard when the rover's moving. Oh. Got to do it like right there. Perfect. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we stopped it, so now I'll get the desired effect. It worked, like, perfectly for us last time. I didn't even know it was a hard thing. Huh. You guys know what clip I'm talking about, right? Um. Weird. Okay, right. let's try this. I'm trying to make it fly. Square ones are heavier? Oh, is that it? Well, I'm still gonna try this, just... Not what I wanted. Okay, so I can't do it with the square ones, is what you're saying. Interesting. Okay, so it only works with the diagonal. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up that clip. Just so you know, I'm not crazy here. Um... We have a lot of clips, as you can see. This one, yeah. Okay, so it was a triangular one. It just naturally was like, oh, I want to get the hardy radish. Let's fly out. Okay, so if it's triangular, we can do it, it seems. And you can cheese even higher with octobloons, which is what I wanted to do, but... They can't all be winners, sadly. You know what we're going to do instead? Just, uh... Octobloon it on out of here. Because we have tons <laughs> with all the enemies we've been killing. Da -da 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 -da. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, maybe... Maybe if it falls on top of the keys, it can kill them. They'll be circling us. It's going under the water. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> the wind was not in my favor. Oh. The underside? Whoa, what broke it? And how did it die, too? Did it get, like, smonched? Oh! Oh, we actually didn't have to kill Keys. Interesting. Oh, and then there's the wing. Funny. Oh, well. Sorry, I was, I was really hoping for the best, but... The best is yet to come. Also, the star fragment from earlier is all the way over there. It's very close. Not that it... You know, we can insanely benefit from it. Well, it is actually kind of far. Uh, it's going to despawn in like 30 seconds, and it's a little more than a 30 second drive. So we're going to give up on this stream. Yeah, it is seconds away from despawning, so bye bye. Big sad. Thank you for saying Keese and not Bat. I will definitely call him Bat still. Because it's fun to bat him away. So, Oh, wow, nice. He didn't like that. I'm misnaming the uh, fellow monsters. <laughs> what a weird wacky stuff we got on the stream is insane. I know. It's like, it just, it's cursed. <laughs> now that we're killing all the world, just the enemies are just becoming more and more cursed. And that's their way of coping. But whatever floats there about. There we go. Right back on the cycle, too. So we can be out of stamina, but still regain it on the bike. Also, nice. Not nice. Uh, give him a few smacks. Oh, damn it. Hey, don't go back to your horse. You don't deserve that. Ugh. Nope. Hate when my bike hits him. Do a little drift. Nope. Damn it. Of course he still got me. The most annoying guy is these stupid archers. I feel like just one what whoa that slide i was like <laughs> it was a very unnatural position for a second i was i was a little worried for link didn't know if he was possessed or something uh yeah these guys bite Boy. <laughs> there we go right back in the bike it's it's satisfying even if we get right back off yep. 
600 likes. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We have hit our goal. Yeah, thank you for the support, as always. Three there, and we'll do the two... Two there? Yeah, they're harassing some travelers, it looks like. I think it's just right down at those planes. Piggy, hello. Sorry, birds. <laughs> There they go. <laughs> oh, uh, into the water. Sure, sure. Keep going, keep going. Wow, okay. What a chain. That was really something. <laughs> Whoa. Nice. Oh, the mud, actually. Wait, why are we heading to the water when there's literally mud right here? Oh. <laughs> Ended his little fray. Okay, the hitbox in this is so funny. I'm just gonna bash you to death. No, nope. it doesn't do a lot of damage. Just 21 <laughs> per hit. Okay, so those guys don't drop uh, materials too. Specifically, the ones attacked by NPCs or attacking NPCs. Poultry curry. Thank you. It seems like those rewards are pretty fixed, actually. So I'm pretty sure last time I was there, I got the poultry curry. That was during a soldier run. I know if some were random or not, but it seems like they're all fixed. I can't fully tell. Maybe it's different if you save them on different times, or... I'm, I'm not too sure. <laughs> oh, I'll look into that. But I know some are fixed, for sure. Lords. Okay. Up to the count with all five. Six to 71. And box off the last two. Okay, I just boxed him off. Uh, interesting. Wow, that's uh, some pretty good progress. We really crept into the central Hyrule region. So, yeah, not only uh, is Lanero cleared as of today. Yeah, all good. Did a call last stream. Did Great Plateau the first time in the first stream, but uh, went back for some missed stuff, and then the one hit obliterator a few streams back when we did that. And, yeah, it seems like we kind of made natural progression, so... <laughs> We kept the virus of killing everything, just kind of flowing from Akala uh, through Lanero, eventually making our way westward. And uh, yeah, even took out stuff like beginning of Elden, the stuff before the mountain, stuff creeping in the central Hyrule and near Woodland. Wow. Um, yet Elden will be an adventure for some time. There's a lot of the dynamics, but also way easier because they're all just in one path. Like this is like an alternate path up. That's a path up. It's not like just the random uh, region like that, which is good. Central Highway, we're saving for the end. But it seems like a lot of people really want to see the desert for next stream, so we'll probably do that. Um, the Ice Hells quest is kind of weird because there's stuff that only spawns during a certain shrine quest. Um, that could be pretty interesting. But for the meantime, what is something? There is something I can do. What time is it? Okay. We've been going for about three and a half hours. There is one enemy that I want to kill, and this one is probably the longest one to kill in the game. Basically, there's a Kakariko quest, and uh, in this quest, it ends off by killing one Wing Cleaver guy, but you got to do some side quests beforehand. And I feel like, well, we eventually had to do this at some point. Let's do it now. So, <laughs> this will be our 2772 if kill. Um, so, we killed about, I feel like, one, one fifth, 250 enemies. Yeah, we, we got a, around, after this kill, around 250 enemies this stream, which is pretty good. Considering, you know, the tedium of some. So, yeah. When do I think it'll take to complete? Yeah, this is like the 13th stream of it. Every stream is about four hours. So about all in all, it'll take about, we're estimating about 100 hours for this playthrough to be done. Um, which, yeah, it's, it's about a lot of fun stuff. Just fun memories, uh, and even just in between stuff, you know, just being able to stream and chat about things too, which has always been fun. So, uh, thank you for being a part of it. And, yeah, even before this playthrough, we always had a Wednesday stream, because before this, it was our second win playthrough, then it was Relics of the Past, and before that, we did our 200% playthroughs, which was honestly most of the time, because those were very long. I feel like they're almost like a year each, um, 
But yeah. Wednesday nights here have always been a fun time and they've always been a day of the week I've been looking forward to. Very rarely do we have to miss them, but it's always a blast. Just want to say thank you. Okay. Um, so for this quest, we basically have to do a, a journal or we have to read it. And this says all the side quests that we need to do. The journal of various worries. Once we do all the side quests, it unlocks the shrine quest, and then we can kill the wing cleaver and be done with it. Well, my wife left me today. Um, <laughs> nice. The last thing she said to me is, what's more important, the cuckoos or me? I chose the cuckoos. Smart man. <laughs> okay, we love the chickens. Come on. Uh, and then the fairy fountain one, where you just gotta take a picture of a fairy fountain. Um, <laughs> yep. Arrow quest, which we can do. Um... And then Firefly quest. And then it does the heirloom quest. Because that's basically what we're leading to. Because after you do all four of these side quests, someone steers, steals the heirloom. And yeah. Now which ones have we done? We haven't done this one. Yeah, I understand. I'm basically blowing through it. It is the longest thing we got to do for a single enemy in this game. Since we already did a lot of that in the stream, might as well get the last out of the way. But that quest speaks for itself. There is another one where we talk to uh, the person in the bow shop. They're all pretty short quests. The, the Kuko roundup is a little bit longer, but it's also fun. There we go. Let's do her. Last time we had a customer. Most people don't have time for a bow. Uh, Yep, uh, <laughs> take out the bow and show you something special. She just really likes bows. Oh. <laughs> Light the torches by the goddess statue. It's a very easy quest. <laughs> and she's, yeah. I think she has a thing for Link. I I, I can't tell. <laughs> Some excitement after uh, her husband got addicted to Kukos. Because <laughs> that's literally who it is. Like, her ex-husband is the, is the Kuko person in the village who got obsessed with Kukos. So, now she's obsessed with Link. Oh, good to know. Hmm. Damn, if only I had like a flame spear. Do I even need a boat? Yeah, do I even need a boat for this? Can I just like light them? Oh, we got a third one on that. That was kind of good. Yeah, you don't need an arrow. <laughs> you just need to use a flame weapon. I, I didn't know that, but uh, that does make sense. Not like she can tell. When it's lit, it's lit. Ma. Suppose a man is ultimately doomed to betray a woman's expectations. Sorry, I accidentally skipped the first one of dialogue. I don't think that was any... Uh... Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Only her husband hasn't become obsessed with Kukos. Kept up with his archery skills. <laughs> now we understand her character development. Okay, sorry. I gotta see that. Accidentally skipped it. Did she notice I didn't use a bow? Although... Yeah, wait a second. Sorry, I accidentally skipped the dialogue. But... We lit the torch with the meteor rod. Instead of the arrow. And if you go to the shop... I saw you. Although, what I really wanted was for you to light the fire using an arrow. I did not know she would comment on that if we didn't use the fire arrow method. She did know the difference. What? Uh. I... Different di... Yeah, I'm sorry. I literally accidentally skipped it. That is so funny. What? It's amazing. What the... She knew I didn't use a bow. Yeah. That I did not know. Wow, very cool. Not sure if this quest was even needed. I I just assumed so because it was in the book. So, oops. Okay, next one. Uh, there's one that needs to be done at night. You need to uh, collect 10 fireflies and just dump it in someone's house. <laughs> Sounds random. So, Kanjala, uh, with the upcoming kill, 245 enemies will be slain tonight. Uh, with the incoming kill included, our current kill per stream average is now 213. So, we're already way above the average for today. Um, and... Yeah, setting a new one. That's, that's really good. 
Sorry, that was really cool. They put so much detail into the game. I love that. I'm sorry that I skipped it like that. I, I actually did not mean to. Uh, but, I mean, good thing for video capture, right? No, I did not expect different dialogue. Like... Chicken! <laughs> like the glide. Love how they kept that from the past games. Okay. She knows more than what meets the eye. <laughs> Precious Kukos haven't come home. Only my wife wants nothing to do with me. My Kukos are my only emotional support. It's like me with my plushies, you know? I have Baby Floyd on the desk and Bobby. I literally still have Beep Bop in my arms right now just off camera. Um, so I get that. I totally feel it, man. They'll come back. My wife left me a while ago. All this time I've been waiting for him to come back. Ha, joke's on me. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Hmm. There's only a few left. So when the pumpkins are gone. Oh, I think it's because we bought one, but it didn't restock because no blood moon. Maybe those re re regenerate on blood moon. I'm not too sure. Did we buy a pumpkin this playthrough? I feel like we did. Gun. Same playthrough, but uh, we started this back in like November. And it's already March, so. <laughs> Link really needs a minute to think of all the lives he killed at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. He doesn't feel no shame. He's a stoic and emotionless hero, you know? He knows what he's doing. He's not bound by the sins of his actions. It didn't show the quest for the Kuko? I don't... Wait, doesn't need to be activated first? I thought it just needed to be at any... Oh, wait. Yeah. Did it reset it? Yeah, because we did the different option. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, you're right. So, it reset that one. Or two? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know that. I thought it could be at any order, so I wasn't stressing it. But I never selected the no option before, so it was funny to see him melt down a bit. Sorry. It's okay, we can do this. Okay, well I guess we get to see the float in again. It's, it's falling in style. Yeah! <laughs> Just overshot it so I fell out, but he stayed in. Keeping that Kuko imprisoned. Oh, and of course with being in Kakariko. Uh, that's not this bridge. But under one of the bridges, the higher one, there's a very important item that we must cherish. Not here, because we'll take those. Woo! A lot of fireflies, and it's not that. I need that for a quest, though. Eleven, good. It is the holy bridge apple! Yes! <laughs> it is literally just there because it's someone's secret apple, and uh, it's not a Korok seed or anything, you know, like a, a puzzle for that. It's just Burge Apple, and we adore Burge Apple, but we're, we're keeping it there. It does bring good fortune, and we definitely benefit off the fortune. Hello. Be rude. Uh, sorry. Is that a Sheikah Slate? It is. Yeah, I'm the swordsman. Uh, not old and wrinkly. Great Calamity is pretty bad. Having a hard time with it, too. You can't even see my face. <laughs> We're sure, pretty sure the Hero of Legends is on a quest. I'm running a clothing shop. Stop, stop by if you're looking for something cute to wear. We have that. Um, I thought that Firefly quest was in here. Or do we have to accept that at a different time? It must be Link. Uh... Because of the Sheikah Slate. Uh, I met Pira. Pira is my mentor. Through I've heard much about what took place during the Great Calamity. The princess took special care of the Sheikah Slate and carries so many of the memories. I didn't realize that there's someone to talk to Pira. I guess you only get this dialogue after you do. Certainly she'll be happy to know it made it way safely to you. Hmm. Sorry to have greeted you this way. I look exhausted. I am. Okay. Interesting little character. <laughs> That's neat. 
really hard to catch. <laughs> now that there are monsters around the village and rumors that the Yia clan is nearby and active. So you're forced inside when it's dark instead of chasing the night. <laughs> ah. One of the fun Yeah. Does that quest not appear normally? I I'm going to make sure. Because I'm pretty sure if we drop them in, it just works. Oh, yeah. She's not the owner. She's the person who advertises. Pretty sure that's right. <laughs> the loud one. Um, yeah. Yeah, how do you get the quest to... Or is it the last one? I'm not sure exactly. I might save and reload before that. Let's do the chicken quest first. And the fairy fountain one. Keep going. <laughs> it has to be night. It is night. It's 1am. 1, 1 that's why I'm a little confused. Interesting. Okay, there's one up here, I remember. Ish. Yep, in there, and then there's one near the top. One by the shrine, actually. And then one further by the entrance. So just these last three, I believe. Nothing too bad. I just love floating around the village with chickens. In true Kakariko spirit. It's funny how there's like the offering frogs are on here that are used for other quark seed puzzles. With the climax of the ongoing quest, the resulting kill will put the challenge at 56.25% completion rate. Wow, okay. Yeah, ready a good step beyond halfway. We'll see how that climbs per stream. I'm sure we'll definitely hit one where you get like 300 or something again. Whoop. Bonk. Nice. And then one more near the top. Do I know where they're frogs? I don't know. It just seems to be uh, their kind of cultural symbol, maybe? Yeah, maybe I don't know exactly why the Shiga symbol is frogs. But I like frogs, so I approve. Usually a lot of stuff like that, it has some sort of a connection or tie into like a real world thing, but I'm just unaware. I think the rest of this quest we gotta do at daytime. When he pulled a rotten bomb next to Olken, he thinks it's a blue pumpkin. Yes, I, I've seen that before. Not in my game. Someone shared it. It was it was very funny though. Okay. Is is the chicken man? No, there's got to be one more, right? Oh. Only nine. Okay. Um. I guess you could use the Sheikah sensor, right? <laughs> Blunk. Little silly guys. If we activate on the far side of the village, it's more than likely to, uh, well, actually latch onto the chicken we need. So if we do it over there, I'll just probably pick one in the, in the coop. And I don't know where the last one is, so. Where are those chickens? Give me the chickens. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Number 47. Wait. Is it in one of the patches? I think so. No, is it, it's in the plum patch, right? We didn't get that one. I couldn't tell ya. I think it's still directing me towards the wrong way. Oh wait. Maybe, maybe not. It is a chicken in there, crap. The plum garden, we can't go there. Right, and you have to get it at night because uh, the person's watching the plum garden. I totally forgot about that one. Because if you step in their plum garden, they get mad and 
and get kicked out. Go to Plum's at night. Okay, we got that quest done. Um, then we can do the fairy fountain one. Then we can do the. Oh, uh, well, that's it then. Just yeah, that that final part. Which just is a matter of, uh, yeah, you have to trail someone through the village. Kukos, sweet little baby Kukos, they're all back. <laughs> yeah. I will take your purple ruby, thank you. Hmm. <laughs> Love I can spawn it in a village. Very nice. Okay. It's so actually just a picture of the fairy fountain, it looks like. And then after that, yeah, the Firefly quest, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, hi, Painter. They're meeting me there, I guess. Ow. Damn it. If you cut her plum trees down while you're in there and talk to her, the next morning she's sad? Really? Aw. I never know this. there's just this much detail in there. For some reason, I thought I could catch them all. Okay, I actually, I got two. So we're fine. Yeah. Two's okay. What I gun it? I don't know. Speed run quest mode. All right, person. <laughs> There's the bloopy stuff. I'm like half speed speed running the quest line because just so much to do before. Uh, yeah. Oh, hello. That's how I didn't want to jump back on it. Found it. <laughs> how do you not find it? You're right there. Never wanted a plum tree garden because he didn't want to make her sad. Yeah, it's like plum trees. I wouldn't want my plum trees being cut down. Yeah, memory help. I love how the painter across the different stables uh, gives you help. Also, wait, does the painter only... Uh, does he only appear around the world once you do this quest or does he always appear around the world? Cause I never noticed that. I feel like in like challenge playthroughs where I don't do that, he doesn't appear. But in neural playthroughs he does because I do do that quest. This place is just so detailed. I really love it. What if we cut? I don't. Not that I want to make someone sad. I just want to see the dialogue. I'm sorry. It'll be back. They grow back. See, they, they just harvest. There's no plums on them. I'm not that evil, I promise. It's just uh experiment. Oh, there we go. There's the firefly quest. Uh, if only the fireflies could play in here. Let's drop five in. All right. There we go. <laughs> By fireflies light. He stays in Cockregal till they do that quest. Oh, okay, that does make sense. I I never really fully noticed that myself. Purple rupee. Well, glad they're happy. Magical. You're pretty too. Uh oh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Very random shoehorned compliment. Okay, if we find the pumpkin person, we can do the bomb thing. Let's go see how my sweet... I suppose I should go see how my sweet plum trees are doing. Wait, will they just walk over to it? Uh, probably not for a bit. But if it's daytime, then it should be good. I hate making you upset, but when the chicken's back for whatever reason. Morning. Plums symbolize endurance and prosperity. 
Oh, wait. Huh. They, they didn't comment about it. <laughs> wait, what? There's no time for a history lesson. Oh, wait. Oh, my plum trees, they're all gone. Those trees are my life. I suppose today's the day the old lady's life loses its meaning. No! Oh, no. I was like, she's not going to comment on it. Wait a second. And then <laughs> the fact that she was talking about it as if they were still there. And then leap into this makes it even more upsetting. Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. Wait, but they're not there. Oh, she still does that, of course. These trees rot away, but yeah. My plump. There isn't a single one left. Her reaction time to what the current situation is isn't fully there, it seems. Okay, now with those quests done, I feel like... Yeah, is the heirloom quest started now? Who did this? Yep, okay. So now we can do that. Okay. Link, I swear you only took your eyes off her for a second. What's wrong? Heirloom's been stolen. Yep, so all this stuff leads to the Yiga thing. I love how they even mentioned it before, like in the Firefly quest, it's like... She couldn't go out at night because of the Yiga problem, and... Now their heirloom is stolen. What's going on? You were chosen by the heirloom, it's for you. Uh, and yeah. Heirloom is a key to opening a shrine that's nearby. And the thing is stolen, you just have to figure out a riddle thingy. Okay. <laughs> she says her only reason to live is gone because of the plum trees. Does it mean I should increase the kill counter? No! <laughs> we don't kill actual nice people. Just nice monsters. <laughs> no. It, it's really our fault, though. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sure, Link can't kill people, but he can definitely kill their will to live, it seems. Uh, ouch. <laughs> so sad. Up here is better. Mm. Spine is just moving right? Don't approach. Okay. Well, that's what we'll be doing. Oh, how do we get out? Let me out, let me out. <laughs> so basically now we have to warp back till night. And we basically kind of have to trail someone. There's a few loose ends. Uh, you don't want to trail the wrong person. Also, I love how the Kukos are still here. After you do the quest, you just roam free again. Yeah, this shrine quest is interesting. You have to do all that pre so it's like the most for a single shrine quest in the game. But if you notice, some people in the village start acting a little suspicious. And have dialogue. They're all from known villages. Who came by? Were Lassie from the clothing shop and Grandma from the plum garden. Hmm. So I could investigate them. But I know there's some false leads. The only true way to do this is by sort of waiting it out a bit. Nobody knows. What does nobody know? Who's there? Is someone, someone stalking me? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> seems like they have some, uh, baggage. It's on my way to shop. Stop fall. Is it because we have a mask on? I don't, I don't think that actually means anything. No. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of funny, though. Um, stick him the Sheikah. Yeah, why not? We gotta be a full-blown Sheikah for this. Duplex bow. A little bit of Yiga in there. <laughs> Celebrate different sides. Oop. Eggies, thank you. Oh wait, the chickens are in here, but there's also loose chickens, so they just like multiplied. <laughs> they had kids, aw. Can we... If only we could actually crown us in that puddle. <laughs> Imagine there's like one weird spot where you could. I made it this far. Huh.
you. But they're just chilling. Nobody knows. Yep. If we interrupt them, they won't actually do their thing. Her thing is that she's literally just trying to go to the graveyard in, in, in private, you know? But, huh. Why did the guard just leave who told me all those leads? Of people that are just minding their business. And again, as I said, this is the longest enemy to get in the game. Because this quest takes, like, between all the side quests and this one, like, 25 minutes to do in total. Just for one enemy for the counts, but... It's the longest per enemy thing in this entire run. So we might as well do it now. And that's what we've been doing. Love the decoy NPCs in this quest, right? It is funny. Well, I wonder what happens if we... Well, we could ignore Dorian, the guard. I think we wait too long to just go back to their normal thing. Because... Oh, wait. What are you up to? Gah! What is that? A carrot? You caught me orange-handed. Yes, I'm a big fan of carrots, but my old man hates them. Sometimes I sneak out at night to get my fill. It's all dirty. Where's the heirloom? That's so funny, just a dirty carrot. She's so happy, though. Did you steal it? Yeah, I almost choked on my carrot. But gave me the plum tree orchard, and yes, the orchard may be an heirloom of the village, but it's technically mine. <laughs> Young people. Wait, can, can we? Can we actually? Oh, I can't take a picture of that carrot. That's sad. When enemies have, like, weapons on them and stuff, uh, you can take pictures off that, but I guess that's different. Hey, Cassie, thank you so much for the five. You left the stream to take a nap and came back to find I'm still streaming. Yep, it's been, a, it's been an adventure today. This is actually the longest one uh, by a little bit, but... Welcome back. We're just doing this last quest before we wrap up, but uh, <laughs> nice you can catch the end of it then, I guess. <laughs> but thank you, though. Yeah, we we really go off in these streams. Uh, usually I want to stream like my normal Wednesday streams. That they're always about like three hours at most, but we've been going like four because there's so much in this playthrough and really having a blast. Wobbler's Nest is longer shrine quest possibly, but not a longer enemy. Um, well, I mean for this, like, it's not just a shrine quest. There's the prereqs that's for the shrine quest itself, too, if you're counting that. Since it's so specific to that. So between the four mini quests and the shrine quest, I think it's the longest. But Wobbler's Nest, yeah. That also can be, too. So I, I get what you mean. But Wobbler's Nest, it's prereq sets the Divine Beast, which, I mean, is done in most playthroughs anyways, so I don't know if I fully count it as one. But yeah, really, it's it's up in the air. Dorian, at at, at 10 o'clock, goes to the pedestal. It is 12.45. Is that Dorian? I don't know how long he stays. Or is that another Yiga? I, or Yiga, Shika, whatever. If you get caught, I think you have to go to the next day. I need my setup. Oh, ooh. Yep, okay. He's still going. We, we can't get caught until he goes at his destination. What if it's your first time doing this, you'd be playing this a lot differently. But obviously this quest is really a quest that's only best admired on the first playthrough that you do it. Um to dum Young lad. Aren't part of the year clan. <laughs> Getting all freaked out. They. Yeah. Big earthquake the other day. You mean like days and days or weeks ago? No. Just gives me a pumpkin. Four to five pumpkins are Cockrico's specialty. He's like, thank you for not being Yiga and trying to kill us. Have a pumpkin. What a nice welcoming gift. Okay. How about this pumpkin? A blue pumpkin? <laughs> I love that. He likes the blue pumpkin. <laughs> I love how he reacts to that. That's, that's gotta be one of the best things. Love it. Yeah, that wasn't Dorian. Sorry, just from the back I couldn't tell.
Yeah, pretty great. Okay. We should be able to do it just fine. There was a Sheikah pedestal, which was always there, but now there's something more special attached to it. Okay, there we go. Gotta wait for this, get this cutscene to activate. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, looking a little sus. <laughs> Show yourself. Yiga Blade Master. You don't have to shout him right here. You're the ones who stole the heirloom. Such anger. I'm ringing like a Darth Vader voice. It seems a thing is truly special to the fools of the village. Like, <laughs> that's how I just imagine all the Blade Masters talking. Why would you steal it? You know what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization? <laughs> An ex Yiga member. So. He stole his Vegas to that, and, uh, well, he gave him information about it. Hello. Any comments on Koga's death? I, I feel like he comments differently depending on if Koga died or not, so. Because I think he could do this quest before the Divine Beast. All right. Just like this. You and me. Oh. Come on. Make the first move. Real move. Yes! <laughs> okay. Beat him down. Nothing against uh, the Master Sword. Bye-bye. Fling him around. Oh. So long. And that is the enemy cleared. The 2772nd. That was a very long quest. Um, we started that quest almost a half hour ago. Yeah. He was trying to change his ways. He was in the clan. Uh, but when he tried to leave the clan, the clan punished him by literally killing his wife. So, um, couldn't let them hurt the children. So he used his position as a gatekeeper to gather information for the ego. That's a sad story. Someone just trying to escape that life. And yeah, because I'm trying to cut ties. That's when all the chaos happened. Okay. Restore the heirloom. Sorry, some things I skimmed if I see them a lot. Oh, wait, wait, wait. With style. No. <laughs> Come on, one, one more shot. We got this. Yeah, <laughs> it drops instantly and if you get it like that. Which is very nice. Okay. Well, that is the final enemy for the stream. Um, We did forget to kill that one shrine enemy that was in like the uh, weird area. Um, the moment with all the pebblets, you know, that we spent an hour in, if not more. Uh, but yeah, very fun nonetheless. Um, I guess as we wrap up, let's just get this spirit orb because it's a free shrine. Uh, and we could use more stamina. Very sorry. Keep it a secret, damn. Coco and Kata were the kids. Alright, so as we're wrapping up, let's just do the shrine. It's a blessing, so we deserve that reward. Stolen Heirloom, such a creative quest. It's, I mean, totally different. It involves, well, mini quests leading up to it. The main quest is like detective work, has some story in it, cool combat at the end. I really wish there was more quests like this in the next game. But also I get a quest like this are really the best the first time you play them and don't have as much replay value. But I don't know, just seeing it through again is really cool. So who am I to complain? You're just getting like thrown off by like the fake people are kind of fun. A 69 damage edge of duality? That's an awesome reward. Hell yeah. Okay. I don't need two giant boomerangs. Um, I, oh, Thunderstorm Rod. I, I know it's very damaged. Okay. How long am I going to isolate myself from society after Tears comes out? Well, I'm basically streaming it every day for a long time. Uh, obviously, while the stream titles and thumbnails spoiler free, so I don't spoil it for people who are also playing it. Um, we're having chat hidden. There will still be a chat, but it's not something I actively check because I'm going to be very immersed and also spoilers. Same thing we did for Age of Calamity when that came out. Uh, but yeah, otherwise I'm staying off, you know, Twitter and every other social media site. Um, but yeah, in the meantime though, well, four orbs, that's nice. Uh, yeah, all of our current channel links in the description below. Um, even our Twitch, because this weekend we're going live with the Korok run 
Again, it's at Saturday at 12 Eastern. Um, and we're just going every day to completion. So it'll likely be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday at 12 each day. So, uh, yeah. If you guys can make it, that'll be very awesome. I'm excited always to do another theme run. Uh, especially after the soldier run, because I know a lot of people like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this. We got a lot of stuff done. We got uh, the longest quest, one of the more tedious areas, and a lot of just goofy glitches and all that in between, too. So it was all a lot of fun. And just want to say thank you. That did well, yeah. That's such a cool weapon. And with the Sheikah outfit on, it's like it just knew it had to be there for us. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. You know, it's always a really enjoyable time when we get to do this. Um, so we have the Quark run next weekend, or this weekend, rather. And then next week, Wednesday, same time, more live with this. And yeah, you've been making just great progress and everything. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great night. Uh, Beepop says so too, because he's literally been here the entire time. And uh, yeah, thanks again. I will all see you in the next stream and have a good one.